What else do we have to do today? Osma is in Tariga learning space, right? I believe we're heading to Tariga. If I remember correctly. Is that right, Ruven? I think so, yes. Yeah, you two are heading there, but Osma is already there. Yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And is learning tongues at the moment, which mm -hmm. we rolled and just succeeded, or did we just roll if he has the spell? We just rolled if he has the spell. Alright, do you want to roll if you succeed and how long it takes you? I just roll how long it takes you and then we see if you succeed at the end. Sure. Uh, one second. Three D two, right? Yes. Five days. <clears throat> two, three, four, five. Okay. It's a great day to finish just tongues. Okay, uh, anything else you are doing in Tariga or are you just chilling and learning spells? Just chilling and learning spells. Okay. Is there anything that might change your mind? Um, I mean, I guess during like the first day I'll go ask about bandits. I think we already did that in Barrio, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, Well, so now today it's first day. This is the day we are picking up. Um, when you asked in Beirut, it was um, Monday or Tuesday or something. Um, there would be a new information appearing. Uh, if you're asking around, the new information is that there has been a increase in disappearances. In Port and Bream and the surrounding cities, people are gone missing. And it's and more than usual. Are these people gendered? No. Okay. Unlike Around the first Port time you hear the, heard about people going missing, this time they are not gendered. And this time it's in Port Bream. Yes. And the surrounding towns, not cities. Mm. Other than this, there's not really anything interesting going on at the moment. Does the... Do I hear this news from the bounty office? Uh, I assume you go there and ask, yeah. yeah. Is, uh, do they have like a leading theory on this? No. Okay. Um, okay. okay. I I guess I'll uh during like next dinner or whatever I'll bring it up to Reynard and mention that it happened in Low Bay earlier. Mm -hmm. Just as we're talking, if he has any big insights, then maybe. But I don't know what to do with this information as of right now. Yeah. Ah, uh, you bring this up during your next dinner. Neither does he. Mm. Okay. Well, then I'm just chilling and learning. Yep. All right. Okay. Then you're chilling and learning. What's the rest of the group doing? It's first day. First day in the morning. You leave the honey. The honey pot. Yeah. What town? In Barrios. Ah. You are still there. Ah. <sighs> You got everything you got sorted out, Ruben? I think we're leaving Barrios for quite a while. Mm, yes, I have all. Well, let's head out then. I got everything I need, but if I can get a Barrios at least. But I need to get done Barrios. Where are you heading? I believe we we're heading to Tariga. All right. Yes. Uh, it's Thursday, so on Thursday there's only Uh, there's one uh, one caravan is leaving on Thursday that's going to Port Breen. Uh, 
I assume no. they would use the uh, yeah yeah oh. yeah. Yeah. I assume they would use this route up here then. Yep. Okay, yeah. Useless for us then. Okay, so you go on your own. Like we always have. Like you always have. Alright. Uh, you don't have horses, so it's just normal traveling speed for you. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Which means it takes you two days to get to Teriga. You will have to camp somewhere. Do we have camping equipment, Julius? Uh, I, I look through my bags and I'm like, uh, hmm. I look through our party sheet that we have and the random shit you gave me. And I'm not sure. Traffic spots are probably on Osmar, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna check just really quick just to make sure. Uh,. It's probably in the bag. Yeah, I don't think we have it. We're gonna be sleeping on the floor. You know what? How much gold do I have on me? I have nine gold. Okay, it's probably not enough to buy camping supplies. Or a tent. Uh, Reuven, how much money? Do you, how much gold do you have on you? Uh, I gave you some rest day, but I have four gold ones and some other weird ones. Not okay. as good. If you want to buy a a small tent, it's two gold pieces. That would if, fit us, right? A uh, small tent is for one person. Okay. Oh, that works. We're have one person on like watch or whatever, and then one person sleeping. That works, I think. Are you okay with that, Ruben? Or you can buy a small tent. There's also uh, there's two towns in between Barrios and Toriga. You could get to one of the towns, sleep there, and then do the rest the next day as well. Oh, that works. Okay, it's probably better. Okay. So one town is somewhere around here, the second town is somewhere around here. Can you see me pointing? Yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. Um, doesn't really matter which which one you'd pick. Uh, one day it will be shorter traveling and one will be longer traveling. Uh, do you want to do the longer travel today or tomorrow, even? Uh, do work first. Enjoy later. Is uh, that very what well. Say? Uh, not really, but some of them do. Okay. Okay. So you are heading to Corn. That's the name of the town. Um, you are not traveling with the caravan. There's some, as most of the time, some random travelers on the roads. Um. Other than random travelers, do you see something? Probably not. No. Oh. So you can do the travel uninterrupted for the day, arrive in corner in the evening, and do the rest of the travel the next day. The next day you're getting, you're starting quite close to Tariga, so no encounters on this day. Yay! You stop me anytime you uh, want to do something while you're traveling, okay. right? Uh, I don't, I don't have anything to do while traveling unless Ruben does. Nope. Hmm. Right. So the next day you can arrive in Tariga. Uh, is there anything you want to do in Tarega, or are you just passing through? Say hi to Usma. Or... Yeah, talk to Usma. Alright. Uh, by now you both know where the shop is, so... Uh, Julius, you can... Uh, lead the way so Reuven doesn't miss it again. <laughs> and walks in the wrong <laughs> shop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think like we probably start walking in the district and like, you know, Rufin sort of like, you know, starts like, you know, opening the wrong shop door again. Yeah. Once again. Uh, all right. Uh, you knock it right next door. Yeah, I knock at it. Uh, it's 
early in the afternoon as you arrive, so as shop is open, you can just enter. And Reynold will look up and see you too. And say, oh, welcome. Nice to see you too again. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, Uzma's father. Hello. Is Uzmar here? Uh, yeah, he's upstairs studying. Trying to get his head around a new spell. Mm. Uh, do you need something? I can catch I fetch him for you. Uh, I, I think it can wait, right, Ruben? I mean, I don't know if it would yeah. don't interrupt his stuff. Yeah, right. We can keep ourselves busy for at least, I mean, do you know how much longer it would take? A uh, few days, probably. Yeah. Will he come out of room? Of course. I, I guess, must, yes, we can must... wait. We can wait. Yeah, we, we can wait. Or I can give him a message to meet you later when he's done for the day. Where are you staying? Staying in the honey pot again? Uh, if that's what you recommend. If you have the money, it's the nicest place, so. Hmm? Uh, I better than the forest, it. don't you say, Ruben? Uh, depend on forest. Mm, better than these forests. Uh, I guess. All right, I will let him know that you came by and that he should meet you for dinner in the honey pot or after dinner. Sounds okay? Yeah, sounds good to me. All right, then I will let him know. Have a nice day, you too. Thank uh, you, you as well with your whatever uh, magic stuff. I'm a magical shopkeeper selling trinkets and components. And the occasional spell. Goodbye. He waves oh, you goodbye. as you leave. Uh, God, I don't know how to. I, as, again, as I go walk to the honey pot, I sort of talk to him. Like, Man, I don't know how to interact with him. He doesn't really act like Uspar at all. Uh, you think? I don't He's know. He's dead after all, you know? Yeah, maybe, maybe. but. You're a lot more compassionate. Hmm. That's I all about magic. Maybe. Well, maybe we haven't uh, speak enough to Usmar Dad yet. Uh, maybe or maybe we haven't not. spoken enough to Usmar. Ruben gives you a blank look with, and doesn't end the conversation, just walks away. <laughs> Typical. Uh, Alright. Uh, Usma, you will get the message that the other two are in the honey pot. I yeah. wanted to talk with you. I'll go meet them after dinner. Or I'll go visit the honey pot after dinner, hoping for the best. I assume everybody's here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Probably, mm -hmm. like, it's probably, it's probably like too late, much later, because it's already pretty late. Yeah, a few hours. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so probably just getting like settled in the honey pot and like eating and all that <laughs> sort of stuff, I imagine. Yep. I walk through the door. I see Ruben. I walk up to their table. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, how's your uh, trip been? I don't know. I don't know. Do you, do you study? Do you study here? Or? Uh, this part's been pretty good. Um, hoping to learn a little bit more about the fundamentals of language. Mm. That can always be useful when we're, uh, I don't know, can you like, uh, talk to those like uh, flying winged kobolds out there? Indeed. This is one of my motivations. Oh, wow. That's very useful. I smile. Uh, Raynard said you guys uh, wanted to chat. I presume uh, there was some, or go ahead. Uh, I mean, do you want the more boring stuff first? Or do you want the more interesting stuff first? 
Uh, give me the boring stuff first so that I have something to look out for. Uh, I don't know, like most of the, so like, uh, those like gemstones, most of them aren't too valuable. I mean, you know, half of them aren't too valuable, half of them are valuable. Okay. Uh, going up in levels of interesting, uh, uh, the rocks that we had are, uh, have dwarven runes on them, or at least are written in dwarven. Mm. The copper and silver coins were old dwarven coins from before the dwarves fled, like, went down here. Hmm. The, uh, the shield we have is a uh, also a dwarven make. Mm. So then that led me to deduce that those hammers that, that we saw that I saw before, like the I don't know whatever the ogres and trolls took them, was, uh, must have been dwarven hammers as well. Mm. And then the most interesting thing is is those gold coins we found uh, are well I'm not entirely sure, but they're they're written in a language that at least none of us could really at least like a uh, no one really recognized. But they apparently have an old, like, one of our queens on there. Hmm. Interesting. And so, a little, a little, uh, Royal Council advisor told me that, uh, you know, uh, that the, the door, some of the doors that are in, uh, Camp Vitovich, uh, apparently, mm. were, are, are still, are still, some of them that are, are, that were born before the, uh, or they were there before they fled are still alive today. Hmm, I wonder if, uh, Wiggle's parents could be found. We never, uh, talked to Wiggle's parents. That's true. Mm -hmm. Would I... be... They probably don't know about us. That's mm -hmm. probably true. Uh, Wiggle off one of your, uh, your friends? Uh, yes, pre we were previously venturing out in the world with him. Mm. Uh, yeah, to depart. Oh, well, it's better than an untimely end. Uh, indeed. What? Um. Oh. Ruben. Yes. I'm not sure. How? I'm not sure how the regions of the Elven Woods or whatever work. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but I spoke to Reynard about the. I mentioned to Reynard the thing that you saw, the elf creature thing, uh -huh. and he says that the uh, that there is no connection between the the elven forest and this forest here. Like he didn't didn't seem possible for an elf to travel there. He seemed uh, very skeptical of the idea of elves existing in the western forest or sorry eastern forest um i put a lot of stock in uh reynard's advice so i wonder if there's maybe more to this thing ruben nods and says uh julius told me that the uh Royal woman in Barrios also told him that apparently if there were elves in these woods, then she would know about it. You, you see, like, obvious, like, uh, con contempt in his voice about talking about this woman. But, uh, but I guess if both she and your father say similar thing and things I thought about these things we are things about these elves uh i think it's very possible that they could be uh i don't know fake elves mm. i think i'll go uh, after the reg i will go to the guardian of lobe woods and ask them about it mm, that seems smart yeah Do we should we still uh, just in case buy gift? Uh, I, maybe your uh, your friend in the the woods will be able to enlighten us, and then if they have any advice, you can ask them if they want to, what kind of gifts they might like if they know about them. Okay. And then if they don't know anything, you can just go with what your people might like. That is good. You know, there's a. 
fine gold. Uh, I'm not sure if they're considered goldsmiths, like a gold craftsman here in Tarega. I think other thing that you have was supposed to be worked on by him. Uh, if it's craftsmanship that if it's craftsmanship that ship that they value, then maybe uh, a, a gift originating from Tarek would be best. Okay. No, maybe. I guess if I first ask Guardian and then we mm. come back to Tarek. Mm. There's still a lot of unknowns here, so. I agree. Yeah. What do we do now? Julius want to go camp with Ovik. We go board green too. Uh, I'm afraid I must stay. I, uh, I haven't quite finished reading this uh, spell. Hmm. How much longer would it take? Uh, I need like probably like a couple more days. No, I'm fine with waiting. Half a week, maybe. Is it okay to uh, rest from walk? We did lots of fighting, walking, surviving. Is is good to rest for many day, for a few days. And yeah, no better know. place than Lobe. I mean, sorry, Tarega. <laughs> <coughs> so smart blushes a bit. <laughs> Oh, this is like your hometown, uh, Usmar? Uh, yes, the one, one and only greatest town on Asturias. Hmm? Uh... These best yeah, we, got, we, got, we got enough gold, we, we could buy like a place. Maybe. You know, do some weird shit to it, you know? Kind of hard to you know do weird wizard shit and other shit, magic shit when you know you can't uh, you know, have a place to do it in. I smile. I can operate in radar; it's just fine. But I appreciate the uh, thoughtfulness. Your room is so tiny, uh, Osmar. Event yeah, but if all I need to do is read, if I need to go do some experimenting, I can always go outside. Probably not going to buy a house big enough to, uh, you know, do it, oh, do all the that. experiments in. Oh, it's good to plan for the future, though. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, I agree, but maybe not. Uh, maybe investing in a in a house is the best thing. I'm sure we'll find better use for gold. Ah, uh, maybe. Though so, I don't know, some of these guild libraries are really hard to get into, so... On the other hand, you kind of make a point. Yeah, having one of your own is always useful. Then you're the one who can ship people out of your library, their library. That would be nice, I agree. I don't know, Maybe a bunch of weird there. esoteric stuff in there that no one but you understands. Well, that would kind of defeat the point. If only I would understand, then I would have to be the one writing it. Yeah. And a big... I mean, maybe it could be lost and then you're the one who discovered it. I guess, but let's, let's not uh, over-fantasize. Let's not power trip too much here. I'm sure that there are plenty of skilled wizards along the lands. Plus, sharing information is really fun. It's one of the main virtues of wizarding. I don't think uh, I don't think I'd want to have information only sealed to myself. Hmm. Makes sense. Oh, do you guys need any uh, cash? Uh, I look in my pocket, see, I only have eight gold pieces left. Uh, I don't, I don't know about me, but I, I, I could use a few, but like, I think Ruben can use a lot more. 
I look to Ruben. I give a very shiny coin to Julius. I only have a couple gold shiny things left. Okay. Uh, hold on. Wait back. Or actually, I'll I'll come meet you again tomorrow, and I'll give you some cash so that you don't starve. Yeah, that'd, that'd probably be good. You know, I had enough starving in my days. Yep. Alrighty. Did we mark down the goals for today, Julius? I'm uh, I'm marked. Uh, oh yeah, I'll mark them one off for you. Yeah. Uh, I only mark one. Okay, I'll add one back then. I already marked it off for me. Okay. So, you will be staying for a few days in Torrega. Do you want to do yeah. anything during these days, or are you just chilling? Hmm. I have an idea. Uh, uh, someone else go first. I have an idea of what I want to do. I need to think about how to, how to word it. Uh, I think Ruben's going to take a few days just easy enjoy life walk around in the fields and nature with his cat mm -hmm. that's it enjoy life okay was my spell learning so he's not doing anything get back to you julius god damn i wanted more time to think. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to like uh, <laughs> phrase we're getting an omen proficiency, omen reading proficiency done because I have I have the I have the slots for them. Thinking of how to start like the process of it. Okay. This is the first I can, time I've had downtime. I can do a more more descriptions then. I'll give you some time. No, I'll yeah, no. It's like, I'm trying to think of like a way to do it that you know makes sense for like, a death cleric to do it. Well, the first thing would be praying, probably. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, it got some more fanfare to it as well. Did, did you not already get the concept of how you have to omen read? I don't think so. Uh, maybe if I didn't remember, I don't remember. It doesn't come to mind. Maybe, uh, yeah, oh, I wait. think it never came up. Yeah, cause I, cause like, cause I got you... the first half of the proficiency at the start, but then I never had time to work on the proficiency after I got the slot for it. Okay, but you, do you remember how you, why you got the first half of the proficiency? Oh god, that was a long. One. I was what like, you I was did? Like, I don't remember. It's been like a, it's been like a two month. Wait, did I write it down? I might have written it down. I gotta check my notes. Those are more less fallible than my memory. Oh fuck! I didn't write it down. I don't think. Okay. Was something about uh, using the obsidian spike to draw blood from somewhere uh... on your body and tripping it on a flat stone? Yeah. Okay, I remember now. Yeah, yeah. That's like the ritual you have to do. Mm -hmm. How you want to uh, go about learning it better? That's up to you. Yeah, I I got an idea of what I can do. Okay. You also still don't know how to make holy water. Just no, I do not. That that's another day. That's for another day's problem. Okay. One step at a time. You know, maybe the omen reader will lead me to holy water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I I got an idea for uh, Ruben. You're ready if you're done. Yeah, I I'd rather speak as least as much as I can. I still have a bit of a sore throat. So yeah. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna I'm going to look for an animal that is a uh, uh yeah. I assume we got some cash from R Usmar or something like. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look you for can like. You add any... one of the GPT or sheets. Okay. Okay. There we go. So I'm gonna be like looking for like an animal, like a chicken or a pig or something like that. That's like should be dead. Like, you know, like the death aura around it. Basically, looking for something that's you know should be dead but isn't dead yet or should be dying. Um. Okay. Uh. Ooh, it's gonna take you a while to find something. That's okay. Uh, Actually, the thing that you, you're like wandering through town, you're checking the, the marketplace where they're selling livestock, you're walking mm -hmm. around a bit more, uh, and then you find like this sickly looking cat. Oh God. 
and she will focus your mind on the cat and yeah this cat is doomed to die there's nothing that can save it mm. might be today might be next week but okay uh it's still a okay. cat so you must somehow you must catch it if you want to use it for anything yeah i'm gonna let me see okay i do have spells on me that can help oh uh, no i feel i don't even know how to do that i feel terrible uh i'm first off going to try and you know like i'll go to like a and buy some like a like fish or something like that like some like raw fish I assume mm. they're probably dead. actually no they're probably not raw fish running no. the town i'll get some, like dried fish or something or smoked fish uh it's way easier to get like some jerky oh there we go yeah i'll get that then okay. sort of like you know like like try to like you know lead it into like an alleyway or something like that like you know like a. Uh, you know, like the, like leave leave like the raw like the meat out and let it like a uh, like cat like try to catch not catch it but you know like a uh, attract the cat. Mm -hmm. So you want to get the cat to your own where nobody can see you. Yeah, basically. Okay. Mm. The cat isn't really that interested in the food that you're offering. <sighs> Here's the heart. Maybe the time. cat has the knows what's happening and knows not to trust you. Yeah, it's been alive long enough when it's supposed to be dead. It's probably decently smart. Hmm. And now I'm going to do the morally questionable thing, which is uh, I'm going to try... Uh, uh, so I'm like... Is, do I see, is am I like in an alleyway and I see it and I'm trying to like attract it? Or is it like you know, or is it like just not come into the thing? The, the, like the turkey? Uh, it's, it's, it's not coming. It's sitting there in the sun. Okay. Uh, enjoying the warmth. And I use suspiciously. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna cast Charm Person or Mammals on it. Okay. It's a saving throw. Mm -hmm. I guess it's a flat saving throw as far as I can remember. Yep. You cast charm person or mammal on the cat. And then you do what? I like, you know, beckon it towards me. Uh, the cat ch jumps off the little wall it was sitting on. Seems quite uncomfortable jumping down and will slowly walk over to you and start rubbing its nose around your ankles. Giving like very, very uh, silent meows. Mm -hmm. It's hard to hear All right, them. I'll... All right, now we see a stone. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have it on me, I don't think. Did not break that down anywhere. That was not part of the magic. Wait, is that part of the, that wasn't part of the holy symbol, was it? No. Nope. It wasn't or was? It was not. Second okay. part is bone. Yeah, okay. Just want to make yeah, that's what I thought. Just want to make sure. Okay, so I'm gonna, you know I'll, you know, like go. I'll like pick it up, carry it, you know, out into like the to find like you know, out of like the, the city. Mm, cat doesn't want to get picked up. I'll lead it outside. I'll like, you know, beckon it towards the city, out of the city then, you know, following it, like feeding it occasionally. It follows and you for, like, for a bit. Then cat sits down. Doesn't follow you anymore. Uh, I'm gonna fucking, you know. Fine, I'm gonna... I'll go and pick it up now. So Whether, you, force, yeah. you force pick up the cat? Yeah, I do it like the the baby way where like you know they doesn't really mm -hmm. like it, it seems like you know actually like you know it might just be like you know annoyed but not like actually mm -hmm. mad at it so i'll just do that for now and see what it see how it reacts and it's like moving it walking away with i mean as you like it. pick it up on a scruff it like just hangs in your hand yeah and then i was going like you know uh what's it called uh i'll go i'll go like not like outside of town but i remember correctly like the town sort of like you know like decentralized like probably mm -hmm. distances away where there's like not really like people around and look for like a 
Uh, look for a place to put it out of its misery, I guess. Uh, I, I, with, with, no, no, look for like a, a rock or something like that, like a smooth rock that I can, you know, find. Mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll, yeah. do, I'll do that first and then, you know, go look for like a spot out of the way. Yeah, you can find a smooth rock um, and then find a place where you think nobody's watching you. It's hard to say, that's like getting away from the center of the town starts to get in, in this farmland structure more or less. And you're always in between two farms in some way. So people mm -hmm. could see you or may not see you. Maybe people are paying attention to random strangers with cats walking around. Maybe they are not. Yeah. So I'll, like, I'll look for a place that I can like, you know, like a, I don't know, like a bit larger, like a hill or like a rock or something I can kneel down besides, you know, something where like it's, I can like sort of measure if someone's like, you know, to my one side or not. You can find like some trees. Yeah, I'll find a tree that works, yeah. Like a tree yeah. that's big enough. Yep. Yeah. Then, you know, when I, like, you know, feel comfortable enough, I'll, like, you know, uh, I'll, you know, like, uh, put, put, like, the cat down on the rock, do, like, a prayer. Then, you know, like, uh, sort of, like, you know, like, pet the cat a little bit, and then, you know, like, feed it a bit, feed, like, the last of the, the turkey that I have. Hmm. Pet, like, uh, the, the cat, like purrs a little bit not with your hand hmm. yeah then I'll uh, uh, as like you know, then I'll try and you know like uh, uh, kill it as a I don't know what's the way to phrase it uh, I guess quickly and painlessly as possible with like the obsidian spike give me a roll to hit okay Let's see how could you do this I assume I'm proficient with the, the yeah. thing. Or it's yeah. like, or it's like, yeah. Oh, easily. Oh, that's a, that's a good clean job. hit. Clean hit. You crit the cat with the obsidian spike. <laughs> you pet the cat and then you put the spike behind its head and then with one quick motion. Then spike you know, is. I, uh... And it instantly falls over. Uh, then, Dead. you know, like seizing, seizing the moment, I'll, you know, use that to. On like the on like the smooth stone rock that I had to uh, try and you know spell out an omen, of a, of a, I don't even know what, I didn't even think I was gonna omen read first. I was just thinking of the process. Uh, I'll omen read. Uh, how will the dwarves? How how do the dwarves fare you? Hmm. Uh, as you do this and watch the blood drop onto the stone, you have this weird feeling that something is off. And as you try to understand what the blood is drawing, you have no idea. Mm. Okay. Somehow the ritual was wrong. Mm. Okay. That's, I think it's pretty much like probably takes up his, like, his remainder of his time. I think he's probably just thinking about what he could have done differently for like the rest of the time. Give me an int check. Int, uh, I believe that's nine, eleven. No, oh, nah. Hmm. No, no idea. Escapes you. Your mind doesn't come up with something, so. Oh, the wow. The player has to come up with something. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's what I'll do for these couple days. Mm -hmm. So anything else you want to try? Any ideas? What you? Uh, I'll, I'll do it. I'll save it for another time. Okay. So it is a Saturday, and we have two more days to pass. So anything anyone wants to do in these two days? Two days. Um. I guess maybe Ruben's been um, infected by by Uzma or by his teacher, but uh, Ruben will like uh, not start like pestering Julius to see if uh, he will once again teach him his his smooths, <laughs> his uh, stumbling skills. Uh, I'm like okay. 
Uh, you want to do it here in town or go like uh, I don't know, into the farmlands a bit? I, I guess. Is up right. to you, which All is right. best area. Uh, probably the farmlands. There's less people watching. I assume it's right. something uh, to tumble from, so. Yeah, actually, I, I sort of, I think it probably just escapes me that uh, Ruben probably can't climb up like things fairly easily. So, like, I probably go like I probably go out into the farmland, find like a tree, and like you know, like like make sure it's like stable enough. I'm like, okay, I was like, I you know, like, I'm gonna see if I can climb up it first of all. <laughs> oh yeah, easily climb up. I I, I, I scamper up the tree a little bit. And I'm like, okay, come on, Ruben. Um. It's, it's up to you how we've usually done it, Duck, but uh, you might, uh, Yuris might be able to tell. Ruben has li uh, lived on trees seemingly his entire life. Yeah, climbing he trees is very... chill for you. Yeah, uh, you, you might expect him, knowing his movements in this particular area of expertise are, are rather shallow, but it appears. Uh, with a tree, he will scamper up it rather easily, seemingly extremely familiar with this. Uh, when he was on the ship and climbing the masts to f fall down, he was nowhere near as dexterous and, and skilled. It seems like this is a very specific, even weirdly specific skills of Reuben. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he uh, stumbles up next to you on the tree branch, nimbly. Uh, and I'm like, all right. So when you fall, you have to try and uh, you know break the fall as best you can. You're not trying to stop the fall. You're just trying to you know uh, reduce the da as much damage as you can from it. And I'll uh, so like we're about. I, I assume I pick up like a ten foot tree, so we're not taking like that much damage if we fail. <laughs> you know, just like demonstrate it. So I'm like a. Uh, all right, so do do what I just like. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, as like you're falling, you gotta like, you know, like, like gotta like, you gotta be like, you know, roll. You gotta roll to you know, like break it, like sort of like this. Ooh, why do I only crit the? Why do I only crit the tree? The example once. <laughs> Again, I, I I like perfectly like I like, I fall off like in a terrible position. Like my head's like gonna like like immediately fall to the ground, and then I pick like I fix it at the last moment and like take no down as I roll like and like, stand up immediately. Uh, sort of like that as a practical example. All right. So you like try, that. you try your best to teach tumbling skills for the next two days. <laughs> this is the second time I've crit in a row on these ten, these, these teaching ones. Mm -hmm. Ruben is looking at you with great admiration. He's like, he was thinking in his head, like you're gonna bust your head on this rock, and you just like defied gravity. <laughs> uh, and then I assume I'm like, I'm like climbing back up and like, you know, teaching. We'll probably take a bit of damage and then I heal him up a little bit. It's probably like, you know, back and forth a little bit. <laughs> we heat, yeah, yeah. Uh, sort of a uh, Ruben has like these, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, it's just kind of funny how like uh, I, I only get put my best face on in front of Ruben when like you know I'm doing these tests and like in practice I'm a lot worse at it. I feel like. <laughs> when it comes to combat, you roll miss after miss. <laughs> but when it comes to you know falling off a ten foot tree, I'm a master at it and not taking damage. Well, it's what you've been doing all your life, right? Yeah, yeah. Fighting ogres—that's new stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's not my, it's not my part to do. Yeah. All right. Um, no, it works perfectly. You can start training this, and we'll need like a few more days before Ruven gets the hang of it. But you can work on the tumbling proficiency. That's fine. Um, Monday. Osma, it's time for you to shine. Yeah. Sh Shines bright like a diamond. It's you... a 1d6 plus 2? Plus 2, yeah. 
Seven. Seven. That's what I wanted. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> So on Monday you finish tongues and you can meet up with the group and discuss plans for the next days. I also want to buy some components. I buy... How much do these cost? Clay cigarettes? Clay cigarettes? I think you just buy clay and then you do the rest yourself. No, I think it's a thing. It's like 3.5 gold, I think. But I'll, I'll figure it out. Clay. Was it crystal? Yeah, you can buy clay cigar for three gold. At least according to on the sheet. Yeah, three gold. I think you should just buy the clay. It's just cheaper. Just can I do that? I feel like a cigar is pretty hard to craft. If you Where do you to see the cigar? It's at the very bottom of. Oh, is it on the on the set? It's cigar. It's oh. cigar for it's oh, cigar okay. the clay. Okay. Yeah, then that's three gold pieces. Oh, by think... uh. Five? Should I buy more? Uh, I'd buy it at one for the problem. How long does tongues last for? I think run per level, but I can make it last yeah. for eight. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because the problem is, is that even if we're just talking with like one like race, it's going to be like, I assume it's going to be multiple conversations at least. So if you talk That's with someone, fine. meet with your leader, we're gonna have to, you're going to have to do another casting or two to talk to them, and then, you know, you know add That's up right. fast. I can, I can make it last for a day. Okay. I'll buy, but I'll buy six, because five is a normie number. Hmm. True. Ziggurat clay, um, six. Do we say that each weighs how much? Half a pound? Fourth a pound? Yeah, half a pound is fine. I don't know if that's fine for me. They're pretty small, they probably weigh less, right? Hmm. Is this a word for anything else than I think it is? No, oh, they have to be decently sized okay. to have any details on them. The clay is pretty light. Mm. Isn't clay pretty heavy? Uh, no. I, not really. It depends if it's hard or wet. I think. I don't remember. Yeah, if it's hard, it's lighter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can get hard clay, and then you have to wet it to like actually melt mold with it. It'd probably be fairly light, I imagine. They probably oh, they probably baked so. Then it's quite light. Wait, does it say on the economic sheet? No, no, it doesn't have weight on the economic sheet. What? At least for the uh, spell components, they don't. Hmm. Oh, I know what has weight. There's a weight on the purple work thing for sure. I can mark it for half a pound now, then we can worry about it later. Um, 15 gold was it? No, 18. Hmm. Um. Oh, during the days, I'll uh, fill up. Well, I guess I'll fill up the small kicks later, but I'll restock on rations. I'll get like 25 rations. Okay. Is it three gold per ration? Uh, two silver per. Oh, okay. Oh, that was quite the difference. You have like some uh, weird thing with two written silver? down on the economics sheet, uh, on the horse sheet, like how much you want to buy and how much it costs. No, but those are for fresh rations. Uh, standard rations cost two silver. Dry rations cost six silver. Okay. And uh, you need dry rations, yeah. So zero point six gold, right? I'm not crazy. Yes. I'm not crazy, am I? It's up for How debate. Many... Oh, you said zero point six gold. I only heard six gold, so I was confused. Oh no, I had three gold. 
Oh, well. No, the, at, the first thing I said was three gold, because I thought one okay. cost at three gold. Okay. Yeah. I didn't. We're so rich, I can't remember this kind of thing. <laughs> Money. How many days needs. extra did we spend in, uh, in the. My, one more. Uh, two more days. Uh, this okay, was I'll the third day. Uh, let me mark it off. I have I have a thing that. Oh, yeah, mark it off. Okay. There we go. So, all in all, you are staying one, two, three, four days. Okay, I marked up the if first you, day. If and you then leave I found Usman marked up yeah. the other three. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So, you meet up in the honey pot to talk about your plans. What's the plan? Um, What's the plan, uh, boys? Well, Ru Ru Ruben wanted to go to Lil Bay and talk to his friend, or at least the woods. And I was thinking from there we could go to Camp Vidovich. And then from Camp Vidovich we can go to Port Bream. If, assuming nothing else comes up. Assuming we don't want to go anywhere else after all that's all said and done. Yeah. Um. Can should we go through Port Bream first since we have our horses there? Uh, I think that's that wouldn't be a bad idea, yeah. Camp bit of a cheesy. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Yep. Oh, I'll go get some extra cash actually. The guys probably want payment for the whole keeping them there. Uh, maybe. It also might, wouldn't be bad to have gold in case the doors want money. Oh, yeah, sure. I got gems, but I don't know if they. But it'll, you know, hard to break down. Yep. I go pick up like 300 more gold. Should we uh, talk, go talk to the uh, uh, Centaur clan too? Or do we. Is that okay for now? Uh, well, if you had. Wait, you, you talked about Centaur before? Uh, yes, there is a Centaur clan in Lobe Wood. Wait, like the, like the man with like horse legs? Yes, that. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Sure. Is there something in particular you wanted to discuss? Uh, no. I, I, I just thought of the idea right now. I don't actually have any. Um, it is not important. Uh, we can, if we stay in Lobe City, we can uh, see if you know how their trade has gone. I'm just, you know, want uh, to make sure they aren't being mistreated. Sure. Yeah. Uh, do we go by road? Do we go through woods? Uh, uh, if our first stop is to Lil Bay, then we should probably just go straight. Straight to. Yeah, that oh, seems best. Then we can go from Low Bay to Port Bream, and then Port Bream to Port Camp Bit of Bitch. Alright. Do you want to go uh, town hopping, or do you go straight through the wilderness? Maybe probably go town hopping. Right. Uh, you can get to Tefik, and then a long day to Nolly, and then. Uh, to Low Bay as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, is there anything you want to do on the way? Uh, the only thing I want to do is while we're like stopping in the towns or the mm -hmm. villages, be like a sort of like you know see if I can pick up on any rumors of like weird clerics or people doing weird shit. That, you know, like you know clericy shit that you know people don't explain. See if I can pick up any rumors of that. Ooh. We're gonna, I thought of it after we mentioned what we we're gonna do in Tarika because I'm like, oh, that could actually be interesting, but mm -hmm. too late for that. I'm gonna pick it up on the way. Uh, the only thing that you, okay, I I, I give you the information when you get to Lobe. That's, That's what cool. you grab Fine. on the way. Let's see if there's anything going on in your travel time. This is nothing. This is uh, oh, this is all right. Uh, you get to. Uh, Teffington, no problem. And as you head from Teffington to Nolly, can all of you give me perception checks? Oh, 
or smile. You're the only one paying attention. Um, you see, like, a few miles to the north, as you're, as you're heading to Nordi, there's like this small hill in the middle, like as I explained before, there's this rolling hills here and you can't always see into the distance very well. Uh, but as you get up the hill, you see three, four miles to the north, a group of seven humans. Humans? Humans, yeah. Heading eastwards. Uh, heading westwards. Um, I point that out to the boys. There's some people there. Yeah. I like. I like probably like, you know grab the spyglass out, look at them, and be like, yeah, yeah, looks like humans. Are they armed? Um, as as yeah, this has been pointed out to you, and you look at them through the spyglass. Give me a second perception check. Okay. Ooh, barely passed. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um, you look at them, and they seem comically normal. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, I'm like looking at him. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Extremely uh, I, 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 ordinary people. Yeah, I'm like mentioning out to the party. I'm like, yeah, it looks like the same uh, runners that we uh, got like the the other shit from that we first met. Mm. Yeah, I mean, didn't those uh? I think I picked up on some. Didn't like those bandits uh move up to the those hills? Like these ones yeah, right well, here. Um, no, I'm saying that's the party. Uh, oh, okay, I'm, okay. Like, I'm saying that's the party. I, I probably misinterpreted the, the area. We can't. Uh... Huh? No, if bandits would move into the goblin for some. Yeah, I don't know. You want to go pay him a visit? I don't know. I feel like we've skipped goblins before and Ruben really wants to, so I feel like I'm not having my own bias go in and it would be unfair for me to say that I want to go visit these guys. But the bandits have been so awfully quiet. Maybe these guys would give us some information. Uh, potentially. I am... I am okay, Usmar. Uh, these humans, they are going in the same direction as us anyway, no? We can... Mm, you're heading to Nolly, they are heading like straight east, so the, they're heading Can like you this. Say west? Uh, yeah, uh, they're heading like this probably. Oh, I'm trying to be there. Yeah. So we could like uh, sort of meet up in like this direction, like this way, and it would, it would, it would be, I'd be like, it wouldn't be too out of the way, but it'd definitely be out of the way. Uh, probably we'll be catching up with them. Yeah, we're not okay. on horses now. Oh, that's right, we're not on horse. That's right, yeah, you're right. I forgot. And uh, as you can <laughs> see them now, they can see you if they're looking in your direction, so... Sneaking up is also not really an option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're catching them, but maybe something to keep in mind. Uh, something to note down. We'll probably see them in a little bit. Your portrait. Unless you have magic to make us much faster. Uh, I'm um, afraid I don't. The only magic I have is the charm, charm the hearts and souls of men. Um. Okay. I, I guess when uh, we go to Wood and I ask Guardian, I can ask if she uh, felt any any of those humans coming to Woods from North. So mm. we can know if they went to this way. Which to Julius might sound just absolutely absurd. Like, who the hell is this Ruben going, Ruben going to talk to? To be honest, I feel like half the shit you say you just make up on the spot. Because <laughs> it just sounds so, like, you know, like, outrageous to him. He doesn't right. bring it up ever, but he's sort of like, oh, okay, sure, sure. That's, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Um... Ruben seems okay with giving up or chasing. 
<laughs> All right, then you continue to Noli, I assume. Yeah, I think we probably like you know we probably like you know talk about it for too long and they get out of vision and then we just get, or get out of range. We just keep going. That's what All I right. imagine happens at least. Okay, you continue to Noli and rest there. And the next day you're heading from Nolly to Lobe. Uh, um, are you like planning to do the split up again where Rufin uh, heads to the dried grove and the rest continues or are you staying together? Yeah. I think like uh, I'll be like I'll, I'll bring it up the room and be like oh we did the same thing we did last time. Uh, you do you want us to come along? You want us to all go and then you go. You want us to all go to Little Bay, then you go by yourself out in the woods. So. If you two are okay with waiting, I I'm not sure if she wants people very close to her, but if you are waiting a little bit away from her or I can ask if she can if you two can come to her yeah, I don't mind waiting as long as you know but eh, as long as it's not too dangerous though I can't imagine this, these woods will be more dangerous than what we've lived through already I tried it wouldn't be it'd okay. be interesting to ask uh, I mean she uh, she older interesting smart Oh, Why is uh, Yes. She's definitely that. Wait, sorry, is oh. this the day... Is this the morning we've woken up in Nolly? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. I'm turning some spell fresh. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know, it'd be actually... interesting to... I'm, I don't know, I feel like I'm getting more interested in the... I don't know, all this, like, like I'm, like, waving my hand, all this, like, uh, DFX stuff. Wondered if people who are old enough uh, remember it. Oh, I do not know how old she is, but uh, I guess she might has been as she might be as old as these woods are. Again, Julius probably sounds absolutely absurd to you. Yeah, I'm like I'm like also I'm like I'm like even if that's true, it's probably like well like fifty years maybe at most. He doesn't know how old trees live for. <laughs> like really? <laughs> okay, yeah. He's probably like from even like fifty, a hundred years maybe. I don't know. The trees, how long can they live for, you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Uh, Reuben seemingly would trust in both uh, Ju uh, Uzma and his new companion, Julius, will <coughs> start traveling straight to the Dryad Grove, the end. All right. Three, so Great. Um, you try your best to find the correct way. Uh, with Kitty's help, you manage to get where you need to go, and you find like this small stream that you can follow for a bit, and then come to this uh, small lake in the middle of the forest with a clearing. Maybe uh, like fifty to a hundred meters before we like breach the clearing, Ruben will stop the two of you and be like, uh, it's uh, right there, but uh, I think it's inappropriate if I were to bring you in without invitation. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, I, I will ask her if she uh, wants let you do in. All right. I go up front. Yeah, you go into the clearing around the uh, around the small pond uh, to the tree where you assume. <laughs> okay, uh, around the around the pond up to the sacred oak. And do what? I uh, look around, see see if I. See her, see anything? Um, no, you don't see her. Uh, you walk around for a bit and 
a few minutes pass and then you uh, uh, Kitty is like also walking around and she, then you uh, hear a sound from Kitty as Kitty is running away from you and you can turn around and see Arya standing next to the tree Kitty running up to her Ruben switching to Elven uh, turns around bows deeply to her so... Lady Arya. Rufin, haven't seen you in a while. Ah, yes, I, uh, I came with my companion a bit ago, but uh, you were not home. I uh, am tempted to leave you a message, but did you see it? I'm afraid I did not. Well, um, he comes to normal talking distance and says, uh, I have, I guess, a bit of stories to tell you, Lady Arya. Uh, me and my companion and, and friends went to the other side of the Great Canyon Wall to the north east. Hmm. Why would you do that? Uh, Ruben turns to look at her, saying, uh, I, uh, almost questioning himself at the moment, but seems to have a strong and, like, determined fact in his, his brain that he latches onto and says, I, uh, I felt that hearing of news about this wasteland and how they all said that it was, was no nature at all, I, I had to take a look. I, if my wish is to protect nature and help, help it, help the cycle, a place like that, that brings forth great destruction upon nature, or seemingly, mm. and I felt it must be something I saw. See if I could, see if it's a problem, and see if I could help. You see she's sitting down in the grass, kitty on her lap, and running one of her hands through the grass next to her. I, she like, for a moment, seems to zone out. And then says, uh, You've brought company. Uh, y yes, yes. He seems almost embarrassed. Uh, I, my, the two friends, humans, that I went with to the wildlands. I, uh, I trust them. We fought through life and death. I brought them here. Uh, I didn't invite them in as I deemed that in not something I can do. Well, if they want to be here, then they should be here, shouldn't they? Ruben slightly smiles at this. His kindness was shown by the shrine and uh, maybe takes a few steps away from her and... and... do I think I can just like... I, I, will, I will move a bit away and then project my voice to them. <laughs> In a pr appropriate fashion as not to, dis to disturb too many animals. <laughs> I look at Julius and then I look towards the direction of the noise and point that way. And then yeah. start walking. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Now, Usma, you've heard about people disappearing in these forests, right? 
Yep. But my boy Ruben wouldn't do me like that. Okay. I sort of like whispered, or I like Usmar as like we're walking. Like it seems like a tight little bit of a walk. Like uh, have, you, have you ever met her before? I don't remember. Did it? No, I haven't. Right? Nope. Nope. Someone no. that uh, Ruben likes quite a lot. Hmm. I guess. So it should be fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. You enter into the clearing and you see Reuven standing next to the pond, looking in your direction, and behind Reuven, sitting next to a beautiful, very old-looking tree, um, a small-looking, maybe elven person uh, with a green dress, uh, the hair seems to be shimmering green as well, weirdly, from flowers in the hair. Uh, yeah. She is looking quite beautiful, from what you can tell from the distance. I'm actively trying to not get allured by her beauty. Okay. Uh, I don't think I know how this works, I'm just looking at her. Yeah. Not really knowing what to do. I try to avoid eye contact. Uh, you step up to Reuven. Reuven? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, both of you will hear Reuven speak in a weird tongue as he says, um, Lady, uh, these are my two human friends. Uh, this one is Uzma. This one is Julius. You, you can both tell he's telling your names at least. Mm -hmm. I take that as the cue to like walk up next to you. I tried to do the elven bow meme. Yeah, right. I think I just do a normal bow and then probably stop halfway through, like unsure of like what to do. You like weirdly bow in her direction. Yeah. She like slowly nods her head, looks at both of you, speaks in a language you do not understand. They both seem troubled. Uh, Ruben, maybe you see Ruben frown at that, maybe, and like respond to her. Um, I, I guess we all just came from a rather difficult expedition. Uh, both of them are. Do Uzma now with me has gained more experience with traveling, but I think both of them are still humans, you know, not as I, I, from what I can tell, the expedition was quite difficult on them. That's not what I'm talking about. Do you remember? Do you remember the last time we talked? We were troubled as well. You didn't really know where to go and what to do. Ruben has a thoughtful expression on his face. It's even a bit of a frown as he nods along to her words. And this one, as she points to Julius. He has... something that I haven't seen in quite a long time. Something I thought was forgotten to this world. Uh, do you mean the weird magics he has some weird magics yes uh, he can use magic to heal which is odd for a human and he talks of a creature talking to him in his head we had 
another companion like him as well, but he is currently not with us. He was one of the two that left. Uh, she stands up and points in your direction, Julius, um, <laughs> and says, uh, uh, come closer. Does she uh, say it's a No, she says it's an elven. You don't understand it. Okay. But she's okay. like waving a hand in your direction. Uh, waving like, you uh, to get closer to her. Okay, okay. Like, I'm like, uh, I like, you know, sort of like, uh, I'll, I'll get close. I'll slowly start walking until, like, you know, she stops. Like, I'm not sure how close to get. Uh, she waves you into touching distance. Okay, so like, I'll get within, like, you know, uh, I'll, I'll get I'll get that close then, sort of uncomfortably. Um, as you're to uh, walking closer, I think there's a thought hits uh, Ruben as well as he like talks in common now. Like, oh, oh I'm uh, sorry, I did not uh, think uh, this is uh, our Lady Arya, or uh, the guardian protector of these woods. Seeming uh, introducing this woman to both of you. <laughs> As you're walking closer. Uh. Uh, she's uh, lightly interested in... Uh, as you, I think his words stop uh, because you reached her by now. Hmm. Just as you're about to, about to reveal. Uh. Yeah. She like reaches out one hand and instantly touches your chest. Like proper... Uh, Exactly where your holy symbol lies. Get a little uncomfortable with that because I don't think anyone else's guest has seen that before. Or, like, you know, it's guest that hasn't seen it, I haven't shown it to. Hmm. Oh. She, like, closes her eyes and listens to the wind as she touches you. It's a bit weird. Yeah, uh, it does seem very weird. You can do whatever you want, just. Well, you can do nothing. That's up to you. Yeah, I think he's gonna like you know he'll he'll wait like a like a minute or two to see if something happens and then I'm gonna like you know I'll hmm. see what happens after that. She listens for like closes her eyes and touches you and listens for fifteen seconds to the wind. Or you assume she's listening to the wind because she's not doing anything. I don't know, I've seen wizards do. I've seen Usmar do weird shit like this. Hmm. So, you know, it's not like completely like like foreign, but it's you know it's not like it's different hmm. still. And she removes her hand, opens her eyes. Looks at you with a slight frown on her head, over her eyes. It's hard to say, but maybe. Uh, steps, uh, takes a few steps back. Then speaks to Reuven again. Uh, what brings you to my place today? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. I, I should have said that earlier. Well, I wanted to say about the tell you about what we saw in the wildlands, but um, especially about two what I think are important things. Um, I met a, a very weird elf when I was traveling in the woods to the northern, northern part of, uh, of the wildlands, just at the edges of the wildlands, the desert. A, at least a creature that seemed like an elf. I, I saw it move, like me and my peers. I chased after her, her and uh, they revealed themselves to look like, well, they looked similar to an elf, but they were much, much taller, even taller than a normal of my kind. And? She, uh, 
and she uh, said that her name was uh, to call her by Lana and I was well wondering if you knew about any of this of elves in this in that part of the woods she said that they had a camp or a, or a clan to the southern part of those woods the other side uh, near near the big water lake I'm, af I'm afraid I do not know much about this part of the world. Um, There's no no contact. The few of my human friends here, they were worried of that these might not actually be elves. I, after she left our meeting or chat, I checked her footprints and they appeared much heavier than they should have been. And, well, those woods themselves seem to be quite filled with many dangerous creatures. But, but uh, with only her weight being a weird thing, her speech, talents, were all elven-like. I guess her height, but still. I was wondering if it was possible that a creature such as that exists, or if they are an elf, or, or if there exist creatures that could mimic elves like me so, so well. Uh, she reaches behind her head and pulls up her, what's it called, her cape to cover her hair, and then looks at you and says, uh, do I look like an elf to you? If it wasn't for my hair? Uh, she does. Yes. She does. Yeah, yeah. You, you do. But we both know that I am not an elf. I see. then I'm still unsure if these creatures are elves or elven-like, like yourself. Uh, I must, uh, I must yeah. say I'm not familiar with uh, something that uh, aligns with your description, but there's many of your people there might be a old clan of elves living there but it would be surprising to me because where the elves live the connections to my home are strong. And the connections to this part of the world has been cut off for quite a while. I see. I, I thank you for your advice and, and guidance, Lady Arya. I, uh, even though we aren't sure, but at least now we're aware that there is something wrong with it. If if they are weird creatures that are uh, 
uh, hostile to us. We are at least aware of that possibility. But I will at least, I think, hope that there is a chance that I could talk with this new clan of elven beings. If they have talked with you before, why wouldn't they talk with you again? There is a nod from Ruben. I, uh, we were looking for things that are good gifts for creatures like me, I guess, but um, are, well, beings such as yourself, if there's specifically something that would be a good gift, so for some, someone such as yourself? If they are anything like me and you, they will appreciate nature more than anything. The second thing I wanted to at least mention was the what I found but with the purpose of why I went there and uh, Ruben will describe the weird kind of like magical effect or, or possibly magical effect he found that has been affecting the land up, up, up until the forests hmm. and what he discovered and deduced makes sense there must be a strong reason why the connection to this place has been lost If it is a possibility to regain it, to spread life back to this place, this would be great. Ruben nods harshly. But judging that from the that fact is. that your elders decided not to do it or decided to retreat from there makes one worry the others have been seeing Reuben nod along to has as the uh, weird green lady has been speaking but at this point of time he has a very serious expression on his face of maybe even lightly doubting himself or, or like se seemingly considering something that is very either scary or or very un undefeatable mm. I'm sort of like uh Feel like I'm sitting way. I'm standing way too close <laughs> to like uh. The, I'm like I'm like huh. I feel like uh way too close to the the Lady Aria. Instead of like in between, like instead of like way closer than you are to her. I think she took a few steps back from me, but yeah, but yeah. So I'm still yeah. the closest. I'm still the closest yeah. though. Yeah. So it's sort of like a weird position, yeah. really. She's standing like awkwardly, in yeah, like, in I'm between like, like, you awkwardly... two, looking yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Sort of sitting there quietly while the conversation is going on. I'm used to listening to Ruin talk element too. Things and just chill out. So I'm comfortable with the awkwardness. I think it's more the awkwardness of like how like they're talking like when I'm in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh. Um, I think 
eventually the Ruben like with a nod pushes the seemingly weight that has appeared on his shoulders and the thought of a, 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 a challenge that even his entire clan clans have, have retreated from uh, the thought of it with a sigh he, he no longer worries about it and, and mm. says to her I uh, I think I need you to think about this but I believe if at all possible I I would like to try I want to try and change this for the better she like nods not looking at you anymore now focusing on Osma who's standing in the back I uh, try to avoid eye contact. I look at the ground. Hmm. Uh, she like... See, seeing as you're not looking at her, she will start walking in your direction. Uh, Do you say that out loud? Yeah. Um, th th there is a, <laughs> a moment of, of pantering as Ruben's like, uh, 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 I, uh, Lady Arya, I think he's, he's saw something in you and he's interested. He's, he seems very unsure of himself. It seems like this was unexpected for him as well. Uh, I think that Julius wasn't molested. Hmm. Only slightly. Chill out. Yeah. She will walk up to you. I then. put my hands in front of my chest to protect. From touching me in the chest. Mm -hmm. Seeing as you're standing there, like slightly hostile, she will stop a few steps away from you and look look at your face. Try to look at your eyes if you allow her to. I like glance at her every now and again, but I won't hold eye contact for more than like a microsecond. Mm -hmm. And she like gives you a, a, a small nod and returns back to her tree. Uh, uh, turns back and looks at you, Ruven, and says, Is there anything more that you need? He shakes his head. I, that is everything important that I wanted to relay to you. I, uh, thank you for your advice again, Lady Arya. I also thank for the advice to my both of my companions, their friends. Yeah, uh, I will let them know what you told me. She gives you a last nod and then looks at the other two and steps back into her tree, disappearing. Everyone's like, okay, do we start going now? Is everything okay? Yeah, a sigh of relief. Like, uh, I don't really know what that was. Wait, do I stay here with the detective in this rock? No. Spooky. Uh get what you want out of that room then? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, let's go move, I talk. Okay. That was uh, interesting, I guess. Uh, one right. moving room will probably... That, say, you say? Uh, while moving, moving will probably, and then I wanted to say, while moving, give me a perception check. But... Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm fully engrossed in what a Rufin's telling me. Hmm. I'm only looking for Rufin's check anyways, so... Okay. 
That's forest land. Oh, I thought you were saying all of us. Oh, sorry, no. I misinterpreted. Oh, no, didn't matter anyway. Uh, 31, not 20. Yeah. Go talk about what you wanted to talk about. Yeah. Um, Ruben says, uh, he, he first mentioned to you that uh, the, the the weird green lady apparently had told him that uh, even though these elves are like, these people might not be, are they whatever we found in the woods, these elf likes might not be real elves uh, like all of you said, but they that also doesn't mean that uh, these creatures are inherently evil or hostile that they, they could be just different kinds of elven-like creatures. Um, I think both of you might be able to pick up on like the way he's presenting this and how he like tells the story of her telling him about this. It becomes obvious that uh, he takes the the lady you just moved to as one of like elven kind or mm. elven adjacent yeah, people. That you can definitely like borrow that out from the conversation. But yeah, uh, that's essentially what it, what he's telling you that he got about these weird elves. That apparently that there's no news of them. If they were like actual real elves, they they should be, they should have been known. And if they are actual real elves, then there's some real weird things happening. Okay, so it's most likely they're like elf adjacent, like uh, like your friend. Yes. Like you know, like they speak elven, but they're not like elves entirely. Yes, but uh, even if it's elf adjacent, uh, there is still you know chance that it might they might they might be a bit weird. Oh, I can't imagine a weird elf. I smile. Yeah. He absolutely does not understand the sarcasm <laughs> whatsoever. He just like smiles and nods along. Uh, and uh, after he's finished that conversation, unless any of you have any other further things about that, he also has a second point that he seems to like get to, which is um, he like looks at you strangely, both of you strangely, and she, he says, "He." Lady Arya say that uh, both of you are troubled uh, as uh, Uzmar you would know if first time um, Viglav uh, and Korfan left and and you went to Bord Prim I, uh, I came to her to talk about I guess uh, I was quite lost. I was unsure of what I was supposed to be doing. And and she guided me. And she guided me to my teacher. Uh, who helped me too. So, uh, and she said that both of you like were like, like I was before I met my teacher. Uh, what's that? supposed to meet a teacher? Uh, I I don't know. You know, I am. Um, is is very uh, uh, not not direct, but it's just that maybe both of you would benefit if you uh, I don't know found some guidance or found found people to talk to. I guess maybe. Maybe her advice is more applicable to elves. Maybe. She, uh, she just said that uh, there are. Uh, maybe both of you could uh, maybe uh, be helped, like I was helped by my teacher. If you. Well, uh, assuming something was wrong with me, I did want to get help. It'd be a little hard to find a. Uh cleric you know like an actual you know like, like you know like a uh like you know one that can cast spells i guess uh but 
See, Reuven seems to turn to Osmar at this moment with like something on the tip of his tongue. Osmar's eyes are kind of squinted. He's like visibly offended. <laughs> and besides, Usmar should be fine. He's got his, uh, his dad to talk to. I uh, ultimately, I am unsure of what she meant. Uh, and but just just so you know that uh, I was I was very much helped by my teacher. So. Uh, Maybe someday you want to uh, also find someone else to uh, talk to, you know, mm -hmm. or or maybe he's not even teacher. I it's not all that I got teacher. I also uh, I found uh, purpose, calling a, a a thing that is very important to me, something I. I want to spend my life doing helping. Osmar gives a uh, customer service smile, the thing that he's been practicing for his <laughs> while working with Reinhardt. Uh, I do not know what either of your paths will be ultimately, but I, that is all I can say. Uh, I'll put like a hand on your shoulder. Like, yeah, I feel like if we did, it would be a lot easier. Ah, uh, also, uh, Julius, you talk about the other uh, people with voices in head like you and Vigla. Um, before uh, we uh, met person, we actually met a few people, but one people uh, stay in uh, human clan. I think it was Lobe clan, right, Usbar? The the person whose house we were scouting. And then and then we in the night we were outside their house making sure that Vigla was not to be killed. Mm. You remember? Was was that in Lobe? Yes, indeed. That might be a useful discussion. Okay, like they like do they like cast spells or just have people talk in their head or what? I don't know the uh, pack. I don't know if it's like one. Or, I don't know if you can have one or but I don't know if you can have either or. Or if you always have both. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, my understanding was that this was another another priest in Lope. That's all I really know. Mm, yes, that to me too. I not don't know specific. Just is cleric like Big Love. Maybe. Huh. Okay. Well, we're heading there anyway. I'll talk. I'll ask around the town. Um, the person works at the temple. They're the head clerk or whatever. Hmm. Okay. Can't hurt to go there. That would also have been the rumors that you have gotten. Ah. That a while ago oh, there was some oh. weird stuff going on in Lobey, and uh, the head cleric, uh, the head priest in Lobey was. Uh, requesting information he was basically there was some town criers uh, that all the information should be reported to him okay yeah as you continue your way through the forest Reuven, you see 200 feet away from you oh no the familiar weirdly looking plant Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to be Pig again. <laughs> I did too. I thought that was uh, like a familiar friend. For once it's not all Pigs. Uh, Reuben coordinated all, all from the many days of traveling through the wildlands, like uh, hand signal to stop all of you mid-march and, and point ahead at these weird plants. Like looking at him, like squinting my eyes at him. The the are the blunts that shoot thorns at you. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound too nice. 
that's really hard. We should try to avoid them. The last time we said that we should probably be more powerful if we wanted to dig these things up. Do you think we could do that now, Uzma? Or I think, think that'd be probably. My current understanding is that these are part of the forest ecosystem. I don't think we're supposed to actually dispense with them. Yeah, would, uh, I don't know if Lady Arya would be okay with that. Mm. I don't, but I don't know. I, I, I assume she doesn't want anything to happen to anything in the forest. That's the understanding I got, though. I don't know. Uh, also, I don't know if we want to spend. I don't know if I want to spend a couple days healing you guys up if you guys get injured. Ruben seems okay with that explanation, and we'll bring you guys away from these plants around mm -hmm. the mountain. Uh, do these plants seem to be this same group here? No, it's a different group. I'm marking them down. <laughs> Just place them somewhere in between you and Lube. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna move this. Yeah. Yeah, bam. This is gonna be the new wacky flower. <laughs> to, uh, make this thing blue. Bam. No invisible creatures? Uh, let's see. No, no invisible creatures. And you can continue your merry way to Lope. Arrive in the early evening. Long time no LLL. <laughs> that has been a while. I think last time we came here is when before we left. Mm -hmm. Well then, it's time to head oh, to the LLL. Probably, uh, yeah, we will probably let you two know about uh, what Arya said as well. That uh, these creatures will most likely. Like most elves, like nature things, naturey things, and then Ruben adds on his own that, uh, and they will probably also like craftsmanship things. So okay, it'd be so... very good if it be both nature and good craftsmanship. I don't know if there's anyone that's like at least in the kingdom that does both of those. I think there's a woodworking guild somewhere here. I don't know if there was like, I don't know. Maybe there's the town to ask around. Yeah, maybe. I don't. Yeah. Uh, Julius, I think you are always, uh, you know, talking people and stuff like this. I uh, will rely on you for this. Oh. I can come along. I was planning on going to the temple first, then you know. I don't know if they know yeah, much yeah, about okay. that. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, if we're staying here for a couple days, I could do it, but you know. I can find myself too. Don't worry. Oh yeah, don't don't get lost though. Pretty big town. All right. Um. Let's take a break here. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds great. All right. Let's take a break and then return the next morning. Brip.
nobody else. Hmm. I'm back. Hello. 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 Hey. Fucking Ruben trying to shove his elfin ways down our human throats. <laughs> Thinks he understands us. <laughs> Suggesting for both of you to go to therapy. Hi. <laughs> Fucking losers. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's literally <laughs> what happened. Ruin was like, do you want to go to therapy? Or like, you know, therapy might help. And both of you are like, fuck off. Fuck you. Fuck off, fuck off loser. Yeah, therapy's for losers. <laughs> Alright. Uh, three losers arrive from the LLL and go to sleep. Whoa. And awake hey, the next two, one. It's two, hey, it's two losers, okay? Two losers and a wizard. Two, okay, two losers and a two wizard. Losers, two losers and an elf. <laughs> All right. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. <laughs> so you are in Glo Bay. You had a nice rest. Town is as usual. What's your plans? Uh, my plan is to follow along. I'm like, uh, I mean, if you guys want to come, you guys can come to the temple if you're with me, but I don't know how much no. you guys care about that. I um, don't need to be there. Like a Reuven? Uh, I think me and Uzmar can go out, and then we meet again here. In, oh, that's in fine. This, uh, is this yeah, that's fine, okay? Yeah, it was more like just an invitation. And if you guys want to Last stand time. around mm -hmm. looking at the the stones and pray or whatever. I don't know what you guys do. Uh, is is uh, normally you know you your people do your people things with your weird powery things. Yeah, I assume you've had clerics in the elves and lands before. He know, seems to actually, intentionally know, shut down at that. And like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm just sort of saying like, that, like, not even sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've felt this multiple times. Uh, and this time, like, especially particular, like, every time you, like, uh, ask, like, a straight question uh, about, like, s some information about the Elven Lands, like, Ruben, like, shuts down. Like, almost, like, physically just turns his head away from you. 
end to the conversation there. Wait, Ruben, did you have any plans for what we're doing today? Uh, well, Usmar, I was thinking, uh, you father is cell man, right? Mm -hmm. Cellar man. And so you know much about sell, selling stuff, and, and then could you uh, find places to where where here in Lobe would be good nature uh, material craftsmen? Mm -hmm. I can come along and you know give my my elven eye to see if something is looks beautiful or not, but but I I I don't know how to find. And I don't know how to buy, you know. Uh, sure. Yeah, we can go look around. Sounds like fun. All right. So the two of you head into the uh, artisans district of Lobe, mm -hmm. looking for fancy, nature-infused, artistical things, and. There's no better place to be than Lobe. Lobe is the home of the Forest and Woodman Woodworker Guild. And the artisans around here have access to the best wood in the kingdom. So there is a lot of um, art being done with wood. Um, in different ways and you can shop around for a bit. Um, how much money do you want to spend? Um, that depends. All right. well, are you looking for something that's expensive? Are you looking for something that especially piques Ruben's interest? No, we're, we're, we're going with Ruben's interest. Yeah, but Ruben has no concept of, of, of like, money, right? Yeah. So we can go all the way to the very upper limit of what what uh, nature craftsmanship in the world can offer. You know, Ruben has no eye for the price tag at all. All right, then I need a few rolls from you, Ruben. Um. Ooh. The first one is a d20. Two. A two. That's good, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the next one is a D100 at advantage. <laughs> Which one is better? You pick. All right, and then a D4. Four. Can I love how the, on the D100 you just got uh, both ends of the two, spectrum. Two D4, uh, a second D4, please. Go another four. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, Ruven. You, after a going through a few shops and like everything just looks like shit. This is all just the humans, uh, human ideas of what what nature is, and most of it most of it looks a bit mechanical. The woodworking is, mm, for humans it's not bad, but you know what like proper elven work to wood looks like. Um, that's all of this is super um and then in the fourth shop that you check there's one thing to a ordinary human this is probably not the most interesting piece um it's made from a single piece of wood that has a very interesting shape to begin with and then it's engraved with other symbols of nature, it has like small, um, uh, what's the word, inlets of uh, uh, gold and silver, and it's just all around beautiful. 
and this is like the only thing the whole day you saw that is interesting to you. Okay, um, Ruben will like, regardless if we are in the shop, outside the shop, Ruben will point that out to uh, Usman. I go look at the thing, I mm -hmm. pick it up. Ah, you really? can't pick it up, it's behind a, um, oh. it's in an encasing. Uh, I wave the shopkeep and mm -hmm. ask, can we have a closer inspection at this? Yeah, the shopkeeper comes over and says, ah, oh, welcome. Um, do you interested in this piece? Uh, um, yeah, it seems nice. Of course, of course. So he like goes and grabs a, uh, a keychain and opens up the uh, encasing and picks it up, puts it on a um, small pillow so you can look at it in more detail. Uh, Usma, you don't really understand much about this. No, I it, cock it, my head and pretend it, to understand. Seems interesting, but compared to some of the other things you've seen, it's just like kind of random. Yeah. Mm. How much would something like this go for? Um, this is a very exquisite piece. Uh, uh, price is uh, 8,000 gold pieces. I... I turn to Ruben with a disappointed <laughs> face. I place my hand on his shoulder. This is uh, quite out of our reach. We don't have enough of the monies. Really? Ah, okay. Seems very disappointed. Uh, it, uh, but probably still looks to the owner, like whoever came up. Did you make this uh, statuette? Um, uh, one of my apprentices made it. It was his uh, last piece that he made in his in his apprenticeship. Does he work here now? Ah, uh, no. I don't quite know where he works now. He left to find his own place, I think. Uh, did he move to Darius? For a bigger pot of gold, maybe, or something? Oh. I have no idea. You maybe if you check in with the guild, you could find out. But I didn't keep track of what he's doing now. Okay. He had his own sense of uh, style that didn't work quite with mine. But what's his name? Uh, his name is uh, Dale. Dale. And yours? Frederick. I'm just asking so that I can go find the Dale. My name is Frederick. Frederick. All right. Uh, well, I thank you for the information. Um, and I once again turn to Ruben and say, uh, maybe uh, Dale has something cheaper for sale that we could afford. Ah. Uh, uh... Okay, he's okay. And walk out. Mm -hmm. Frederick follows you, looking at you with, with the impression in his face that he's probably trained to look at people that don't have enough money to buy what they want. Mm. Ruben? Oh, uh, I had a question, Duck. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, was it the craftsmanship or the like piece of wood itself that I liked, or what both? Uh, it was the the piece of wood and then the seamless, uh, seemingly seemingly uh, mm, 
the patterns on it were just like following the structure of the thing and not trying to produce a new structure. So it was both. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Uh, you can continue on. Oh. Um, if there's uh, anything you two want to do now. Oh. I'll go talk to uh, Woodworking Guild. Ar Artisan yeah. Guild. Yeah, Artisan Guild. Hmm. That's for Dale Frederick's Apprentice. Um, right. You find the artisan skills uh, building. It's a smaller building. You know, the artisan skill has the headquarters in Barrios. Mm -hmm. um, uh, seemingly works the same. You enter, there's a, a reception desk, and you can ask the person behind the reception desk, and she will just let you know that she has. Uh, she doesn't know. You would have to ask in the headquarters. Imperials. They keep uh, they know this better. She only right. has an overs, overs, uh, overview of who's in the town. I place my hand on Ruben's shoulder once again, rest I uh, I apologize. Guilds aren't very efficient. If we wanna find Dale we'll have to go back to Barrios. Ruben nods in understanding. He looks maybe lightly disheartened or something, but, but also not much. He just nods along. Okay, well, if we can't get that beast I found, it's too much uh, shiny thing, and uh, we can't find Dale either, I think. Uh, I guess eventually I can just give them, I guess, some uh, peace. If, if we meet these elves, I shall give them... Uh, Something of mine then. As he seems to harden himself to uh, something that he feels is difficult to do, but yeah. Um, he says that. I'll walk with Ruben out of the building first and then I'll ask. I you already have something planned? Um not really, but uh, I have the weapons that I came with from my lands. I have my armor, though it is, he looks down at leather armor, is not suitable, but I, I guess uh, a, 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 a item made by my clan would still be better than everything I've seen so far. Mm. Beside that one thing. Okay. Well, I saw one of your swords. If, uh, you know. Um, there might be a weird, unexplainable weird expression on Ruben's face at that. But... Uh, he doesn't mention anything. And continues walking. Alright. How's the paranoia level? Follow. Hmm? How's the paranoia level? Nine? N nine out of ten? No, I was asking mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um. I think there's been enough other stuff on the mind, on Osmar's mind, that he's not really thinking about that too much. Okay. So maybe, maybe if, maybe some, maybe if he was like forced to stop and think about it, then maybe, yeah. But I think right now he's not, he's not even really considering it. Okay. Um, anything else you want to check out? Hmm. You've spent quite, uh, quite a lot of time in Lobe, so that's loose ends and things. We're going to spend a lot of time here. Out of all the cities, I think the most oh, connections like you've made in Lobe, yeah. Yeah, I 
Um, uh, Ruben might ask the <clears throat> tavern keeper on how stuff is happening, uh, assuming that the tavern keeper just has information about how the trade between uh, the the hunters killed and, and the centaurs is. Just kind of assuming it, but uh, oh, all right. How the dra trade deal with the centaurs is going? He doesn't have any idea. But he hasn't heard anything about problems lately, so... Might be fixed, might not be fixed, who knows. Hmm. Ruben, I think we need to go ask that question at the Hunter's Guild. Maybe they know better. Okay. Do you want me to come too? Yeah, I think they like you better. Uh, okay. So you're heading to the Hunter's Guild? Yeah. Alrighty. You trot to the other side of the town, heading to the Hunter's Guild building, and just walk in, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, Arya's behind the desk. Uh, she looks up and says, Ah, hello! Hi. Um... We're curious on updates on the whole centaur situation. She like has a quick frown run over her face and says, uh, so far everything seems to be working out. Um, the initial the initial phase was a bit weird, but now I think Everybody gets what they want, and people can travel through the uh, through the western side again. That's fantastic. Uh, does that mean that I have full access to your library now? Uh, yes. Did you get it already? Uh, I don't think I was ever at least informed on this. Uh, she turns around and goes to one of the drawers, opens it up, and uh, looks through it, and uh, produces a uh, sheet of paper and says, Oh, seems like you n never came to pick it up. Uh, has been here for a while now. Yep, busy life. Uh, she hands you the receipt. Uh, I like the receipt. That receipt uh, reads... Uh, Hereby, uh, Osma of Tarega has been granted the right to look through the Hunter's Guild library at his own leisure. Uh, sealed and a signature. Nice. Uh, please don't lose it. I'll try my best. I drop it into my bag of holding. She kind of, uh, she, uh, she says, don't lose it. You open your bag and throw the piece of paper into your bag that you travel heavy having with you. Mm -hmm. uh, she uh, frowns again and then uh, says, uh, well, uh, anything else I can help you with? Uh, I turn to Ruben. Ruben shakes his head. Well then, well, um, pleasure meeting you again. Uh, have a nice day. A lot and leave. Okay. Ruben, leave. we should go check out the library. Do you want me to come too? I guess I can. I mean, if you have something else to do, you don't have to come. Don't have to come. No, no. I was thinking uh, when we get back to a, a sleep place, we can buy some of that elven uh, alcohol. That might help too. Probably not good, much very good gift, but you know, it's like a good thing to give. This alcohol is, I think, uh, if it's a good alcohol, it'd be a good gift, but you know. 
they of course here in human land wouldn't have good alcohol but uh, just having a few bottles could uh, i think make make dealing and conversation more easy you know yeah maybe um oh speaking of the things we could maybe the library has some information on them i'm i'm not exactly sure what i'm even looking for though so maybe you could uh be of help here uh i i i can but uh, just so you know i i cannot you know read the human squibbles no oh. um of course uh we'll look around can you read elven well, of course i cannot <laughs> seems like nigh offended that he's like i am not illiterate <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they have a elven section okay we'll see maybe not all right so you head to the library uh, julius mm -hmm. you walking through the city by your own yeah, I'm heading to the temple. They're like asking for direction to get in there. All right. It's easy to find the temple. Yeah, Since... I imagine if it was like the biggest, if it was like a unique building, I would have asked for it. Yeah. Uh, it's just down the road towards the center of the city. Uh, it's a normal shaped uh, temple, it has like a, uh, a garden around it, um, some bushes uh, also. It's a mm -hmm. large, uh, what's the English word? Uh, a large space around it as well. And you can approach the temple from all sides and walk around it. It has the two entrances uh, as it usually does. Yeah, I'll just go until whichever one's closer, closest mm -hmm. to where I walk in from. Yeah, right. Uh, you walk into the temple. Um, you have been in a temple before, right? Uh, I've been into the one in Port Bream and in Berrios. All right. I think that's it. I recall. Yeah, I don't think I've been into any of the city, like the little town ones. All the towns don't have temples. Okay, yeah, so I've only been in those two then, Port Bream and Berrios. Yeah. Um, yeah, you enter the temple and uh, there's a few people around. There's a few people that uh, clearly are clergy around. Um, you can do whatever you want to do in the temple. Sit on one of the carpets, just stand around and look at things. Yeah, most I think people, I'll, I'll... Most people are sitting somewhere uh, praying to the prospective god that they are asking for help mm -hmm. um, let's just quickly grab you onto this yeah, i think i like walk in and realize that it's like pretty much the same as all the other temples i've been into mm -hmm. then i'm uh i'll go and like oh god i'm shine in the corner uh, then I'll like I'll go and like see if I can like, like catch the attention of like a clergy member before like a uh, like when they're not when they when they stop getting busy. Oh uh, yeah, they are like walking around and talking to the people who are sitting on the carpets. Um, and after a while, one of them will approach you. I'll say, uh, "What can I help you with, my child?" Oh, I was uh, I was wondering if the uh, the head priest. I'm like asking, like you know, not entirely sure what the title is. Uh, for uh, I was wondering if the head priest was uh, was free, or was available. Um, Padre Primos is in his office at the moment, I think. Father Primos. Okay. Is it? Uh, uh, Padre Primos is the title. Oh, is the title okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know if he is free. Is there something specific you need from him? Uh, not really, no. More of a, uh, I guess, very 
eh, I guess somewhat sunk into you, specific. Just some uh, general uh, questions I've had. I believe a, uh, I believe one of my companions, ex companions, talked to him at one point. Oh, many people have I... talked with the Pater Primus. Yeah. If one of your ex-companions came through town looking for guidance, they might very well have talked with him. Probably was the case. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, I think the only I think uh, what you can help me with is see if uh, if you can see if Father Primus is free. You're kind of asking him a weird thing here. Uh, <laughs> um, um, the Pater Primus uh, will return to the temple once he is uh, done with his study. Until then, I don't have a good reason to disturb him. Uh, how long? How, how about how much longer do you think the uh, his study will take? I don't know. He is here in the evening most of the time. Uh, what, what, about what time is it now? Ah, oh, it's quite early. It's like okay. 10 a.m. Okay, I'm like, huh. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I guess I'll hang around here for a while. Uh, I guess let me know if you, you hear anything from them. Uh, that clergyman nods and then leaves UBD. And returns to talk with other people. Yeah, I think I, uh, I think he's gonna like Joe's gonna like walk around a little bit, you know, sort of just you know like feel like it's probably the best place to meet him in the temple. And he's sort of like a he remembers the last time he like he felt something. At least this is like my recollection. His probably recollection is the same. That it was sometime over somewhere over here. He felt like a natural pull, or was it, it was either a natural push or pull on the side. Who doesn't remember which? Mm. Or I don't remember either, to be honest. Yeah, I see walking around the temple. Um, yeah. You generally feel that the, uh, everything that's on the right side of the temple is giving you a slightly uncomfortable feeling. On the left side, it's getting better. And okay. if you try to like triangulate your perfect place for you to sit, then you end up uh, on this carpet. Oh, I'm like, oh, like this on the most outer one or this one? Uh, on the carpet. Oh, okay, no, so is the the white the carpet? Oh, that. Okay, I see now. Okay, the carpet. I, I thought the white stuff was the carpet. <laughs> I thought the white stuff was the carpet. I was confused. <laughs> hmm. Everything is carpets except for the um, brasiers and the yeah. uh, uh, fountains with presumably holy water. Yeah, I think he'll like, uh, he'll, he'll like, you know, like, uh, I guess how many, where's like everyone generally congregate to? What do you, like, like Uh, most of the people, um, actually sit around the Leonam symbol or the ILA symbol. Okay. There's a few people who sit around the Kaskata symbol, and then occasionally one of the, one person sits, uh, next to the Cress symbol. Like, no one's next to Zo. No. Okay. And I assume like no one's like where I am either. No. Hmm. Occasionally uh. somebody will like sit on one of the outside carpets, but only like for a short time until the place that they wanted to go to gets free and then they sit there. Yeah, I think I'll like I'll sit down here and just sort of, you know, watch. Not really. I don't think I'll, I don't think he's thinking about too much. If any, if any, like the, I don't think he's gonna like strike up a conversation with anybody. Hmm. Yeah, if you watch for a while, you will notice that the people who are sitting, or like, sitting next to the crest symbol, most of the time they seem very um, sad. A bunch of them are crying. Uh, that's like long conversations with them that the clergymen have. It's like the thing that sticks out the most, other oh, okay. than this, uh, 
most most of the other people just seem like normal uh, normal persons that talk like what i'd imagine like going like people going to a temple would be like yeah sitting down okay. praying in silence having a few words with the clergy and then continuing their prayer and then leaving again mm -hmm. yeah so i think if no one i think he'll like he'll do this for probably like an hour or two said here and then if nothing interesting happens he might get bored and start leaving yeah occasionally you like, see the uh the, the exchange of money the clergymen oh. also seem to be accepting donations most of them are like in the one one silver to two gold pieces range from what you can yeah, spot yeah. okay it's a pretty small donations uh, two gold pieces is quite a lot of money yeah for... i guess i mean more in like the uh the grand scheme of things it's pretty yeah. small uh and that gets uh julius thinking when he sees that he's like oh i wonder if i can uh donate my way to speaking to father Prinus. i think like well i think it's probably like after he gets like after like a couple hours probably, probably like about like noon or one where he's like okay i'm gonna see if i can execute this plan and execute they stand up good start <laughs> <laughs> execute someone up. you can probably talk with the part of primus <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's gonna stand up from this like this car this carpet that he's on and go over to like one of the one of the uh What's it called? The, the clergyman. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I was, uh, uh, if it's like the same one or whatever, he's going to go with the closest one. I don't think he's going to be carrying too much preference. It's a different one. Yeah, big, oh, uh, hello, I was, uh, I was looking to, uh, make a fairly large donation. I was wondering if Father Primus could, uh, bless it for me. Uh... Uh, if you want to make a large donation, um, of course we can uh, arrange something. Is there a specific oh, time frame that you have to uh, hold to? Uh, preferably as soon as possible. I plan on leaving in the next couple days. Uh, I will leave a message with the Pato Primus. Uh, is there somewhere we can reach you, or will you just return uh, here tomorrow? Uh, I'll return tomorrow, and you can also send a letter to I forgot what the ta uh, well, I forgot the tavern is called that we're staying at, but I forgot if it's the Honey Potter for another one. But yeah, that's that tavern that we're staying at. Ah, uh, Tilo Bay Luxury Lounges. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, you will hear from us, or we will see you again tomorrow. Alrighty. Oh, and uh, before I leave, I uh, I noticed no one like I pointed like the the rug or carpet that I was like sitting on. I was like, uh, no one seems to be uh on that that one like in the, in that area. I was wondering why. Felt the most comfortable to me. Clergyman like tilts his head slightly. Uh, yeah, points like the the area like the carpet that I was sitting on. The, most people want to be as close to the deity that they are praying to as they can be. Even mm. though these are just symbols, they still have a meaning. Uh, and what is that one's meaning? Oh, are you pointing at something? Oh yeah, I guess like, it's like a... Well, I guess oh. like, I felt like the most comfortable in this area, so I was wondering if it was a specific reason why, or is it just uh, I feel most comfortable to... I don't even know which ones that's the ones the closest to. Um, as I said, there's uh, like the carpets on the outside are for people to wait to not to disturb the other uh, praying members of our mm. church. They don't serve a specific purpose. Okay. And this is a, just like an out of character question. So when I was like, uh, even when I was walking like uh, closer, it didn't like, you know, this spot to just follow the best, like the best. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. I'll like, I'll, I'll leave the clergyman alone and be like, oh, well, I'll be on my way. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow or later tonight. 
our father Primus later tonight or tomorrow. He nods and waves you goodbye. Then I'll uh, walk out. All right. Fucking, of course, money always talks. Doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> uh, and then I'll probably, like, you know, I'll uh, probably walk around town a little bit and see if I can. And then I'll probably, like, you know, for like another hour, then I'll, like, go back to the uh, Low Bay's Lodge, Luxury Lodge. All right. Waiting um, for the party to come back. Is there something you're looking for when you're walking around, or you're just. Uh, I guess more so just. I guess, like, I'll. Uh, n nah, nothing really. Just sort of, you know, get in the lay of the land. Mm hmm. Yeah, the city seems to be like organized as most uh, the same way as Port Bream is and as Barrier seems to be organized. There's these yeah. districts that have like specific purposes. The marketplace in the middle, uh, the military district with the barracks. Um, if you head further south for some reason, there would be like the um, hunters stuff going on there so there's like tanning going on so many things the hunters guild um, okay there's some fancy looking buildings in town uh, most of them seem to be made from wood which is uh, different than in the other cities mm. most of the cities made out of stone yeah most other okay. cities are like Mostly stone buildings, especially in the center of town. Okay. Sort of like thinking to myself, man, I feel like it'd be dangerous if a fire went through here. Yeah. True. Uh, I think I'll probably go back to the uh, low bay luxury lounge and sort of wait for the party. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the party can meet back up. Uh, unless uh, Osmo falls asleep in the library. Uh, hopefully I don't. Is there something specific you're looking for in the library? Uh, well, first, they, do they let Ruben come in with me? Yep. Great. Uh, then I'll... Is there like a library... Librarian in the library? Uh, of course. Um, I'll go ask her if there's any books written in Elven here. Do they exist in the library? Uh, yeah. They have like a small um, section with uh, Elven books. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll take Ruben there and come to look around, see if he finds anything interesting. Don't break anything. Um, I'm thinking how there might be a moment of him looking at you again like he doesn't say anything but you can tell from his gaze he's looking at you like do you not know do, do you think I don't know what a library is <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it has a twinge in his eye but doesn't say anything and just goes off uh, wait Ruben before you leave I put some paper in a quill and could you uh in detail, please describe everything about these creatures once more. Uh, which one? Uh, the the weird elves? Yeah, the elf kind of thing. Okay, and uh, do you want do you want me to? Uh, you don't need say to do it. You don't need yeah. to do it. Ruben will uh, talk to you, and uh, Doc, I'll explain exactly how Lana looked like. Mm -hmm. and mention how her steps were a bit too heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that was everything that had, and, and the I guess the height difference. Or, uh, I don't even mention the height difference, I just mention what her height was. Mm -hmm. And I try to look around. If I yeah. find something that somewhat matches the description. Right. Um, both of you roll me an in check. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, Rufin, you start reading the elven books, and 
after the first, like opening up the first book, you quickly notice that this is written by humans in Elven. Ugh. And after reading like the first few pages, you start to feel slightly sick by the yeah. Yeah. very weird yeah. way of writing that it's like a first grader trying to write a scientific paper or something like the uh -huh. words don't make sense the um, the grammar is okay but you would never say this is like this this, this is like like okay. idiots you know uh, gotcha and you, it's like a weirdly machine translated novel or book yeah it's like or I, I guess the grammar is still okay yeah. but yeah and then they're using like words that are way too big uh, like trying to use fancy words in a place of it's like completely out of out of place like somebody's trying to be really fancy in elven who is like trash at elven yeah, yeah. and i guess the beauty is interesting yeah. The... yeah exactly you should not read any fully read any of the books or like even l deeply read any of the books that are like written by humans obviously yeah it seems like all of them are written by humans. Uh, yeah. And Usma, uh, you spend a few hours looking for weird forest creatures again. Uh, mm -hmm. This time, not for specific uh, forest creatures, but forest creatures in general. Uh, but you find nothing that fits the description except for books about. There's a weird book about. Elfen anatomy that you don't really know, uh, don't really want to know how it has been written. Uh, there's details in there that you did not expect to find in a book. What does that mean? Uh, details about the bone structure of elves and the uh, difference in intestines between humans and elves. That's actually kind of interesting. I'll, I'll give it a little <laughs> bit more. Oh, it's totally interesting, but there's a voice in the back of your head that kind of says like how this is morbid yeah. curiosity and not just curiosity. Uh, somebody clearly picked apart an elf. Yep. But I'll also at least read the... I'll skim through the titles and mm. read the most interesting things. Mm. Uh, from the book about the elfin anatomy, um, one thing that is interesting that you find out in there is that elves seem to be immune against like lycanthropy. Immune against like oh, so like they can't catch the disease. Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Other than this, you find like descriptions of other forest creatures, like wargs and dire wolves. Um. Tigers. Something about giant snakes. Nice. Hmm. Wargs. Wargs what and giant snakes? Dire wolves. Oh. Oh. Uh. Does it say anything about their location? Where Where's their darwels in the kingdom? Um, or is it just like... Um, the location of the darwels would be the eastern forest. Oh, where we were? Uh, the eastern forest usually refers to the uh, large oh. forests uh, on the east oh, yeah, side, on okay. the northeast side, yeah. And I assume wards are kind of everywhere. Uh, the western forest. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Oh yeah, actually that's true. If there's any like, uh, or for like, since I don't know too much about uh, things that exist, I think for all of these kind of like dangerous creatures, like uh, snakes or like giant snakes, or if there's anything like super weird, I, I'm curious of the location. I kind of want to know what to expect when I'm somewhere. Mm. Uh, yeah. These are the two things that you get like clear descriptions. Like, there's a, a book about uh, about wolves in general and about like what mm. type of wolves are around, and then it goes into difference in like wolves, walks, dire wolves, um, and then where they live. And then the other other book is about snakes and um, uh, Oh, there's like mentions as uh, in this book as well that there's like giant snakes in the eastern forest but it seems to be the only forest that has snakes okay there's no mentions about other places of snakes okay maybe all the other snakes are not interesting enough that somebody would mention where they live because they're kind of everywhere but Mm. Is there anything else interesting? Um. We're only there for a couple of hours, and I'm looking for the elven information, so I might be missing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you would come across a book about magical creatures. Ooh. Is this something you're interested in? Yeah, I'll, uh... I assume the library isn't, like, super populated. No. Nope. So I'll just put that to the side, and then I'll try to... Actually, no, I would assume to find the thing about the elven thing there, so I would be mm -hmm. interested in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... The book goes about, uh, like, describes some of the uh, magical creatures that have been hunted in the kingdom. Uh, there's mentions of trolls, um, griffins are in there as well, uh, uh, owl bears. Mm. Oh, the owl bears have a location. Uh, not really, no. Okay. Um, then there is some... Um, uh, an entry about basilisks. Basilisks? That is yes. very curious. Yeah. Some weird creature with too many legs that has a petrifying gaze. I assume I've heard of the existence of basilisks before. Because yeah, was spell research. Yeah. Um, Does it give me any deets on locations? Uh, vague notions as well about the eastern forest, but nothing specific. Maybe. Maybe back in the day when they were uh, creating hole in earth and building the wall, they had some problems with basilisks there. Or maybe um, one of the uh, settlements over there ran into some stone statues that had people gone missing. I'm getting the impression that this eastern port is really wacky. Well, it's a large forest with close to no people living there, so... Yeah. Whatever, whatever goes, goes, right? Yeah. Um... Then there's some mention of uh, magical spiders. Uh, large spiders that have some weird ability to shift in and out of existence. Like one moment they are biting you and then the next moment they are nowhere to be seen. Only to be bite you from the, biting you shortly afterwards from the other side. Hmm. 
Uh, is there any reference to a spider cloak in this? It's a book about uh, magical creatures. No. Okay. No. Um, Treants. The um, again, the sinisters, the weird flying mm -hmm. bats. Mm. Other than this, there's not really much of interest in this book. Okay. Well, I think that's all that you can do this day. Yep. And you meet up all again in the honeypot. You mean uh, Low Bay's Luxury Lounge? Yes. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> like, uh, how, how did your stuff go? I looked through a you get much. Check that. No. All weird child written by humans. Like, written by this tiny infant. Smart kind of smiles. I did they go to a library? I think if we're looking for like, I don't know, some like artisanal things. Uh, uh yeah, we did that too. But evidently, artisanal things are very very expensive. Oh, so you did find something? Yeah, but it cost eight thousand gold. Ah, a shame. Yep. But also, I found out that these uh, eastern forests, you don't even have to go past the uh, gate, just the forest here on the other side of the river. Pretty crazy. There's all kinds of creatures there. There was like this... Uh, I, read, I read this book on magical creatures, and a lot of the uh, dangerous species found in Asturias can be found from this forest. Stuff like giant snakes and... Oh, I wonder if we can find those elf things that Rufin found. Yeah, I wonder, maybe. Uh, my, my stuff kind of went, uh, went boring. It's, uh, you know, of course the, of course the, the father, Prem, is busy, so, you know, I have to, you know... I have to, you know, Sam to give a donation or to get his, get their attention. Mm. Well, I assume you got their attention eventually? Oh, yeah, of course I got their attention. After I said I was going to give a large donation and specify. So how did yeah, the chat gonna... go? A what? How did the chat go? Oh, I didn't have the chat yet. I had to wait for them to then be free. Oh, I see. They're gonna send a letter either. I'm either gonna to come tomorrow and they'll be free, or they'll send a letter here. I know. Uh, so you just you you gave up on the finding a what was I don't even know what you were looking for just like you know something that made it nice. Uh, well, we got the name of the guy who uh, who who was the original craftsman of the piece. Mm-hmm. Uh, though we don't know where this person is, uh, we could find information of him in Barrios, and then we could maybe find him to, uh, hopefully produce another piece, or uh, maybe he has, like, some, some other work done that we could get for cheaper. Hmm. Uh, but it might I, mean, I guess it, out. I mean... If it happened to go missing, I mean... Mm, I mean... I'm, I, I'm morally opposed to this, firstly. And secondly, even pragmatically, we just... were asking about it, we'd probably be the first ones to be suspected. Yeah, but we're not planning on staying here any for much longer. I don't think I can live the rest of my life without visiting Lope. No, we can I'd, just come back and then we won't have it on us by that point. I'd rather not.
I understand that um, they come from different upbringings, but I very much prefer not to be uh, committing any crimes. I mean, it's just going to be sitting in that case for like the rest of its life. No one's going to have 8,000 gold. No one's going to drop 8,000 gold on. What was it? Just like a... Just something it was like, like a weird wooden piece. Yeah, I mean, how many people do you know that are going to drop 8,000... Well, first of all, have 8,000 gold, and are going to spend it on a piece of wood. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was very sensical, but that's just the way the world works sometimes. Uh, what do you? How do you feel about it, Ruben? Um, looking at Ruben, you see that he's been... Uh, can you hear me first? I think my internet... Yeah, I can, I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you sound okay. fine. Uh, Cool. Uh, Ruben's been kind of spaced out for most of this conversation. He just kind of, by luck, didn't hear any about the, the crime thing. <laughs> and <laughs> Well, I didn't say uh, what else. I was just saying what would happen to go missing. Uh, but it seems like when, when you or Ozma mentioned about, like, the elves again and, like, how, the, how they're weird and stuff, uh, he seemed to have recalled something and in his head, his so, thinking over and over again the fact that uh, well, whatever exists there uh, is probably something that has driven away his clans before. So uh, his his like internal threat level of the situation has increased, and now he's just mulling over the details and just thinking about the situation. Uh, and seemingly, this has made him spaced out. And uh, though you probably can't tell what he's thinking, but you can tell he's he's kind of spaced out, hasn't been listening. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sorry. What what do you say? Uh, I was wondering uh, how you would feel about uh, you know if, if that piece of wood you liked went missing, and we happened to find it. He looks at you with a quizzical. Absolutely not understanding it whatsoever. Uh, what 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 do you mean we happen to find? Is is there is is in lockbox in a, a wood house? No. Yeah, yeah. What I'm saying. What if someone happened to you know like uh someone happened to steal it and then the person who stole it lost it. We happen to find it. Well, then we would have to give it back, no? If we know who's. But it's gonna have to go back in that lockbox, and you know, no one's gonna be able to you know like a. Uh, you know, enjoy its beauty. Uh, I, you want it to be sitting in there for the rest of his life? Well, I just degrades away to nothing? The back in the dust? I'm sure it there's good. something to preserve the wood. Yeah, it's still going to go away eventually, I mean. Or do you want it to go up into one of the, the fancy human houses and just sit in the in like a glass cage forever? You seem to have like done something with his mental state as he's like <laughs> now thinking about this weirdly. He's never thought about this before, but but uh, I I don't think like I think that is almost as good as our stealing itself is. You know, not as good. I I don't think is uh, worth it to steal, especially this deal from human from the earth. Even though these humans, they can't understand the value and true value of, of that piece of art uh, that the human most likely accidentally made, but still, uh, I would I would feel it uh, unright to take. You know, it's... Uh, if I want something, then I will take it, but I will not take it by stealing. Just like you with your shiny things, I will trade whatever I have to do, buy, I will get it like that. Am I not uh, trading my... I... Like... Sorry. Uh, you go first. 
Now, am I not trading my uh, skip, my uh, honing my skills, and for like that piece of wood? If they had, it, if they had locked it up better, then they wouldn't have been stolen. It was almost like their fault for not, you know, locking up such a valuable piece they didn't want to be stolen. You see Ruben kind of sigh and then, like, take his hand, very short hand, put it on your shoulder. Julius, I, I think I understand, but I really, you do not have to do such uh, cowardly weird things just for some piece of art. That is not worth it, like, pats your, pats your back, almost. And as you see, like, strapped up slightly to, like, pat your back, and his posture likely changed, and um, especially Julius, probably all, also a smart that's been with him for so long. And for the first, uh, well, pretty rarely you would see such a side of Ruben, but... Uh, Respectively, when you, you called out each other's backgrounds, from the posture and kind of just aura emanating from Ruben at the moment, saying, like, I will not steal things just like this. It gives this almost like, uh, not uh, this, like, pride that you can tell. It, it doesn't seem to come from... That seems to like come from his origin or his like his upbringing. We'd be able to tell as as he's uh, almost uh, maybe you guys could tell of like a a a very like honor bound uh, son of nobility. You might be able to like lightly re like relate that current Ruben's like uh, aura to that to like. Uh, if a if a noble became poor, but they they didn't uh, uh, were still uh, you know you not using underhanded means or, or such, Give, giving off this aura of, of this pride coming from him of of like uh, not doing something that he feels is is. Uh, Beneath him, you can you can tell it's it's, it's something like stealing, uh, not just stealing, but just stealing this thing. To him, seems beneath him. Uh, yeah, you can you can tell that, as that he has brought from or like has at least what his up what his upbringing tells him. Plus, I, I was proud of his childhood, Ruben. Eh, Julius will just shrug him. I agree to disagree. Okay. But then he deflates once again. It is no longer like a... <laughs> a son of nobility, but just old Ruben again. <laughs> okay. Uh, then what do we do now? Yeah. Uh, Julius, you need a deal or conversation. Then after that is done, do we go to uh, board brim? And then yeah, to, uh, yeah, assuming nothing comes with this conversation, which I can't imagine much will. As you are sitting us? there and talking, uh, the door opens and a courier comes inside. Delivers a letter to the barkeeper. Uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll stand up from the table, there you go. That might be my letter. Okay. Well, uh, if you guys want to come, feel free to. You guys can, I don't know. Same same offer as last time. I think these beans are probably better if you go along. No, you can, you can stand outside. I don't know what you guys want to do. Stand in the common room. Do you want us to uh, be outside to make sure you don't get ambushed? You know, uh, like when you go to the woman? Sure, I can't imagine those clergymen would be too strong. They didn't, you know, they seemed pretty timid. 
not really up for fighting, but you know, if you want it. Okay. And then I'll like you know go over to the barkeep and be like, oh, uh, uh, uh Mr. Mr. Barkeep, uh, who's the uh, the letter for? The letter might be for me. Uh, it is for Julius. Which oh, is, that is me, you, right? Uh, yes, yeah, I just, came in, I just came in yesterday, and I'll like you know like as I'm saying that like, I'm like you know breaking the seal and open it up. Hmm. Just assume it's like just sort of like skimming through, like you know assuming like it's like a what I assume it is. Yeah, uh, it is an. Uh, invitation to meet the party primus in his office then the next morning. Uh, oh, next morning. At like two hours before noon. Okay. Well, I'll like shove that in my pocket and be like, oh, well, thank you, Barky. Hmm? And go back to the, the party. Yeah, like, oh, well, it is, unfortunately, it's not tonight, but it is tomorrow morning. Hmm. As you sit back down, the door flies open again, and in comes a very martially dressed member of the military guild. Oh, uh, shit. Must be a high-ranking person. Is it Tanner? Uh, yeah, it, yes, it is, it is Tanner. And he, Tanner, my brother! Quick, <laughs> he, he walks, uh, he enters the door, and he head straight towards the barkeep, but as you shout, Tanner, my brother, he turns his head, sees you, and uh, walks over to you and says, Osma, I was looking for you. What's I up? I may be praised. What's the, up, the worst, The worst things have happened to me. My, my wife and my children, they are missing. I, what? I don't know. They last last week they they disappeared, and the guild is not willing or able to do anything. And I was hoping that you have time to help me out. Maybe have an idea. I, I think it has to do with the disappearances. They they were traveling. They were traveling to Port Bream. When they disappeared, they never arrived. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I mean, yes, I'll help, but I'm not exactly sure yet what to do. Just give me a second to... Uh, Neither am I. I, 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 I. I thought for myself, I, I tried the internal channels. Uh, there's nothing... I, I, I don't know. Uh, um, Everything was normal one day, and then the next day they were gone. And I, I, I have no idea who can, who can help me. So I was thinking, since you have been so busy and uh, uh, proficient at dealing with the other bounties, uh, the guild has decided to put a bounty on somebody who can solve what's the problem of the disappearing people. So they disappeared here in Lo Bay? No, they went... He, like, tries to calm his head. Um, last week, they wanted to meet family in Port Bream. And they left on Monday the wife and the kids so wanted to do the same as they usually do, make a slow travel through the forest, uh, through the, uh, up to the edge of the forest and camp there and then the next day do the rest of the way with the caravan. And the next thing I hear is when the caravan returns that uh, the family in Port Bream, they, they never... Uh, got there they were worried and sent a letter to me if something came up so all I know is that they they are missing and 
quite a few people have gone missing lately. I don't know if you heard about it. I, I heard that this was starting to happen in Port Bream, but it wasn't gender specific the same way it was last time. Yeah. First, uh, people started complaining about animals getting stolen. Now we have people getting stolen. Something weird is happening. I rest my head on my uh, fist and think. How does Uzma look at this moment? Yeah, I think we're like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like glancing in between uh, this, this new person I've never met before and Uzma. Uh, Uzma is like sitting kind of like one like across the other, like hunched over and like, um, like eyes squinted, looking kind of disturbed. Uh, and he's just staring at like some random point on the table and thinking. Of a person sitting there looking at Osma. Clearly uh, agitated. Nervous. Yeah. So sort of like waiting for Usmar to speak. We're gonna oh. wait a minute. I think that this is obvious, but the first thing we need is some lead to go off of. Some we need to know like who to ask for more. Because we have nothing right now. Julius, you're good at this. I... No, I know people. Um, it would be very important to find out why this is happening. Oh, I wonder, I mean, if it's with the, has to do with the animals and the same, then you know, that's probably might have to do with the, uh, those bandits still. I'm not too sure though, just a hunch. Maybe. I feel like bandits wouldn't be able to coordinate this. Like people disappearing seems like a very mysterious thing. If this was done by bandits, I don't think they would be able to keep it covert. I think at some point it would become obvious that or some, some bandit would have been sighted dragging like a person away i don't think if it were bandits i don't think it would be happening this secretly yeah maybe not well that is what we're gonna have to find out uh uh mr tanner yes yes can you show me on 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 map this map like map uh, where were they waiting for the this caravan uh, where did they travel to wait for the caravan? They usually travel to the edge of the forest and then wait for the caravan that comes the next day. But with the kids, it's it's hard to keep to do the travel with the caravan the full day because they start so early and they arrive so late. Sorry, Tanner. Uh, okay. Did the caravan never see your family or? Uh, I, I spoke with, uh, what's the name? Uh, I spoke with Nick, uh, Nick said he, they, they never, never met him, no. So this was, the, so this is still kind of part of the low bay disappearance. Has there been more disappearance here in low bay? None, none that have been reported. Maybe. Ruben. 
we've been seeing uh, Usma pretty like strong about this. Uh, looks to you and says, um, if they were taken inside the woods, then maybe she, the guardian, could uh, you know ask the woods about it. Yeah. So maybe I would go ask her about this. Yeah, I'm. I think that's a good idea. We could also find. I could. Oh, we could also go there to see if we find any tracks. If there was combat. Um, when was this taken? How many days ago? How many moons ago? I hey, know that was the work. How many uh, uh, nights ago? Uh, ten days. It was the beginning of last week. Right, they left on, on Monday. And must have been disappeared by Tuesday. Tracks are probably out now, or are they? I'm not sure where How long do tracks last? I'm assuming 10 days is too much DM. Oh, that's at least like a heavy negative. It's minus 20 on the roll, so... Very, very hard. Yeah. Sounds like. Uh, you you see an unconfident expression on Ruben's face as he like bites his bottom lip and like. <sighs> if this was extreme, if it was big fight, then maybe his chance of seeing uh, tra uh, tracks or uh, markings. But this has like... happened before, right? Uh, not 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 quite there have been a few young ladies disappearing in town uh, when the young ladies disappeared in town were they in town or were they on their way out from from what what i know they did not intend to leave town Uh, I don't know. It feels like we're just gonna have to look into it ourselves. I don't feel like it's gonna too useful. Please, just if you if you find anything, I I, this I, time beg I you. promise this is my top priority right now. You like? Uh puts a hand on, on your arm and then appears close to tears. I uh, grab him as well. I came to this stupid place exactly for the reason to keep my family safe and now this... I'm just, I'm just happy that I found you here. I was hoping that the barkeeper would have any idea where you where you come from. Or if you have been around lately. Uh, well, it seems the gods are on your side today because we just got in town until yesterday. It seems like this. This is the first good news that I heard since ten days. We will do all in our power to help find your family and the rest of the missing people. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Uh, Donner, for this might not help much, but for tracking, if I could get a uh, description, uh, uh, painting of, or, or type of you know, look of, of missing people, maybe uh, pieces of clothes. 
my, not my wife, she's uh, uh, 5'8 on the slender side. She has uh, long brown hair. I don't quite recall what she was wearing today she left. Uh, she, she she has us our, our wedding ring. It has both of our names written in it. Tana and Erin. Have my two daughters, seven and nine. I have the same hair. Two happy children. How tall? Seemingly, Ruben has no idea how tall seven and nine year old children, human children are. Hmm. Uh, about three, one, and three, seven. Do you know what uh, uh, color their clothing was or what material it was made from? Sometimes it can be good to see uh, broken pieces of clothing in they were tra they, they, they were traveling clothes so uh, it's getting cold now so they probably had the the uh, coats with them. Some wool coats. Uh, good boots. They they were traveling with a with a horse. They had a horse with them as well. Carry the children and carry equipment. That is important. How big horse? What color? What gender? What? Uh, how uh, light? How heavy? How many equipment? Oh, just a a, a light horse. Uh, brown. A female. With some uh, saddlebags. Some camping equipment. I, I know I, I didn't pay that close attention, everything was normal as they when they left. Uh, I'm sure our uh, illustrious tracker, uh, Ruben, over here will be able to find out what information you've given. I hope so. Do not hope. It has already been, the fate has already been sealed. We shall find them.
kind of looks at you with uh, blinking eyes, well, slightly, almost looking like he's crying eyes. What's your reaction mm -hmm. adjust? Uh, let me see, it is uh, two. Plus two. Hmm. Oh. Accepts what you have said. Well, mm -hmm. I will, I will head back home. I Try get to... up and I grab Tanner by the arm. Tanner, make sure not to start drinking too much. I don't want, I don't want your wife to be coming back to an alcoholic. He like has this smile on his face that's also slightly painful and nods and says, I, I just, I have to try to get some sleep. I tap him on the shoulder, give him a firm tap, tap, then I let go. He uh, gives you a, a, a bow, like not bow something in between I reciprocate and then like straightens himself up and uh, thanks you one last time and uh, leaves but we got a big problem now yeah I mean the problem's about as big as it was before just became more personal. Indeed. Uh, just gotta find out uh, where a bunch of disappearing people at fault went to, no big deal. What should we do, Usmar? I don't know, I'm having a hard time thinking what. The only. The only evil groups that are outwardly known are goblins and bandits, and I don't think goblins or bandits could pull this off. Assuming that these people gone missing are the are connected to the earlier ones and the ones in Port Green. I don't think bandits would be able to coordinate. Uh, such a scheme. Hmm. Well, I have one idea if we can't find anything. We can always try to feign transporting ourselves and see if we get captured ourselves. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But we should look into stuff before we do that. That's like a last resort. Uh, yes. And if... if you go first? If, they were, if this was the only... If Tanner's uh, family was the only one taken on the road, there's not like a clear pattern to how the victims are cho chosen. Yeah, at least from what I've heard from what you said, it's just people just randomly getting chosen from going from this area of the, of the kingdom. Yeah. If you want me to look for tracks, uh, every day that goes by makes it harder. And I think even now, uh, maybe it's chance, but very low chance. What time is it right now? Eight, nine. Uh, How fast uh, do horses travel? Twenty-four. To be That's six hours. Horses. We don't have horses on us at the moment. Yeah, but we could rent a horse, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe not at this time, but... Yeah, we could borrow. And with a horse, you can get to the edge of the forest in two hours if you push it. Yeah. Uh, I looked at Usmar. 
Well, you want to borrow some horses? Yeah, I think we should go see if they have some available. Uh, I get up. Oh, well, you there. know the sound better than I do. Uh, yeah, that's probably true. I head out and wait for people to follow and then go find the stables. Yeah, I'll follow. Uh, yep. Stables are like the stable stables are at the edge of town. Yep, that's where we head. I assume we're going fairly quickly getting there, trying to get there fast. Yep. A yeah. group of three people, one of them an elf, rush <laughs> through the night. <laughs> Completely unsuspicious. Um, and they don't notice us. Nobody notices you, yeah. Just it's ignore us. It's impossible to be noticed, yeah. Um, stables are closed already. Uh, I go back at the door. I'll, uh, I'll, like, I'll, like, I'll, I'll see if I can, like, you know, peer through the, uh, like, the, the stable and see if I can see if there's horses in there. Yeah, there's horses in there, definitely. Okay. I like them. Uh, okay. No humans, though. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll wait to see if, uh, what's it called, like, uh, Usmar can get a stable man's attention, or stable boy's attention. Oh, there's also no light at the stables. <sighs> I look towards, uh, like, Reuven and uh, Usmar and be like, huh? Horses in there. Does Usmar's banging do anything? No. Uh, uh, the one thing it does is you hear the horses making noises inside. Is there not like a human house nearby? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, sorry, that's what I meant to go bang. Like, oh, okay. 50 the, meters down the road, there's a farmhouse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you bang at that door and that quickly gets somebody's attention. Uh, door opens and a woman says, uh, why, why do you come banging at my door at this time of the night? Uh, are you the stable master? Might as well be. What What do you need? I need three horses. You can come back in the morning. Oh, yeah. No, I need now. There's been, there's gone people missing and every hour counts. People go missing all the time. It doesn't really mean that I have to work at this time of the day. Um, I kind of peer, peer behind her. Is there anyone? Um. The door's only open like a... enough that she can look outside. Um, and she's going to close the door. My my friend, uh, I'd I'd rather not be banging at this door for the entire night. I hope so as well because if you do, I will call the guards. Excuse me. Um. She closes the door. I, no, I. <laughs> I I'll put something between the door as she's closing it. I continue banging. I'm just waiting. Like, I'm, I'm just, like I'm just gonna be like, oh, sorry. Our door's closed. You continue banging. Alright. Huh? You want to borrow some horses now? I. Oh, can can you do that? Yeah. As long as they don't notice and you put them back where they belong. All right, sure, that works. All right, I'll go over. Uh, you know, go over to the go over to like the stable. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'll I'll look around, like you know, make sure there's nobody watching us. I assume we might have made some noise. I assume we're like on the outskirts of town. Ah, it's dark enough that it's hard to see what you're doing there. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be like, okay. Uh, okay. Keep an eye out for me. It's like you know, I go and try and you know, like uh, I don't know if there's a lock on the stable door if I yeah, can open it. That's a lock. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna be like, okay, pull out my uh, thieves tool that I haven't used for a while, and uh, assuming it's not like a gigantic difficulty in the lock, I nah. pass it. Yeah, okay, so I, I, I like you know crack the lock, put it on the ground, mm -hmm. be like you know open up the door, be like, oh, after like oh, I'm going in now, like I put the lock on the ground. Mm -hmm. I open the door. Uh, none of you is a proficient rider, right? Uh, no. So it's up to Ruven to get three horses to cooperate, basically. Yeah. 
Exactly. I will say, yeah, oh, no. right. Horses are mammals, right? So yeah. technically. And I oh. think with my ability, because they're like they are, trained animals, yeah. they insta fail the team. Yeah, they auto fail. I understand that there might be more things. It's just not as easy hmm. as that. Uh, you can quickly calm three horses and grab them and pull them out of their lock boxes. Um, yeah. And let's see if one of you miserably fails his horse check. <laughs> uh, who's alphabetically the first person? Uh, me. Julius. Julius, you miserably fail your horse check. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, what happened? Uh, you like try to mount your horse and the horse not having it like dances away. Okay. I'm like oh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm like fuck fuck. fuck. Almost okay, tries I'm, to kick you. I mean I don't have time for this. I'm gonna be like okay, uh, you guys start walking. I'll I'll get this horse done. I'm gonna cast charm person or mammals on this horse. <laughs> Do you wait till Ruven is out of sight? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I told my guy I got this. I got this. All right. Yeah. You two start heading out, and shortly after, uh, uh, Julius catches up with you, and you <laughs> gallop into the night. Um, one of you hears like some shouts behind you. <laughs> uh, but I uh. think nobody really pays attention. Now I'm like, okay, we're smart. We're gonna have to set aside some money for the borrowing. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, told you we should have borrowed him from the beginning. True. All right. You <laughs> gallop down the road um, towards the edge of the forest. Uh, on the way, you will come across a small campsite with some people around it. One is standing guard. That's not terribly abnormal around these parts, right? No. Okay, making sure. Oh, uh, what, what day is it? It's still Friday. It's Friday or Saturday? It's Friday. Friday night to Saturday. Okay. Uh, Week is three. Oh. Uh. No, it's not uncommon. Maybe this is people who uh, missed the caravan from Port Breed. Maybe this is people who are heading out of Lube. You can stop and ask them or continue on. Uh, I'm like I'm like a little behind them, so I'll follow their lead. Oh, I think go until it's on the marks. What? Didn't understand uh, what you said. That? I think we just continue, right? Yeah, I, uh, that's a, yeah, unless you guys want to stop and ask them about the kidnappings. Wait, sorry, did I miss something? Like, who, who, who asked him? Uh, where is this party? Uh, where? In wise for traveling. Mid? Mm, like, half, half. About half the way. Half way what you expect. Oh, are, is it seven people? Um, good question. It's six people. I mean, it's hard to say. Maybe there's someone in a tent that you can't see, but... That's easy. Because I know that people generally don't camp here. Sometimes they do. Tanner's wife clearly planned on camping somewhere. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I you would, so. like, when you're traveling in, in the nighttime, you would see camps from time okay. to time. Like, small groups On traveling. this road? Yeah. On this road okay. as well, yeah. On all roads. Okay, I guess we'll uh, slow our pace down a little bit when we go past them and can eye them. Mm -hmm. Maybe talk to them if we feel like it. 
Uh, what would trigger you to talk with them? Uh, well, thus far, all the bandits that we've met before kind of have like this suspiciously unsuspicious vibe, and they usually initiate the conversation. Hmm. So I'm just kind of trying to bait that out. So I'm just kind of like slowing my pace and kind of going past them. Hmm. Oh, the person standing guard gives you a wave. Uh, you don't really pick up on the unsuspicious, uh, suspicious, unsuspicious thing. That's just like Julius's understanding of people who are trying to hide. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, I, I, not, not like the way that they're dressed or anything, but the way that they speak, uh, the way that they initiate conversations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the guy just worries at you. He's not like flagging you down or so. He's just giving you a greeting. To let you know that he's not trying to ambush you. I wave. Okay. And continue, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm following their lead. Alright. Uh, you continue. I think knowing that there's a chance of, of uh, danger about, I think uh, Ruben can switch to full armor because i don't think it matters he would be slower but on the horse it doesn't matter right probably not yeah yeah <laughs> all right you continue through the night yeah going to our suspected spot yeah how do you plan on like finding anything oh, I, I... I have no plan on following like Reuven because I assume Reuven can see in the dark and knows the stuff. I I can't tell shit like track from shit. Hmm. Yeah, same. I'm just kind of hope the elf does his thing. <laughs> <laughs> Run out and then we steal horses in the middle of the night and then we're just gonna we don't really have much of a plan. <laughs> it's great. But I uh, but I assume we're looking for tracks that lead off of the road. Yeah. Uh, so I think, uh, DM, did we get like a general area of where they m would have been camping, this family of three? The edge of the forest, usually. Like, that's what, what Tanner said. They travel to the edge of the forest and camp there. And then when the caravan comes by, tag along with the caravan. So I think starting at the point where it'd be like, could be... Uh, edge of the forest territory where it would make sense to camp like mm -hmm. in this situation i think we're just going to just start looking for uh campsites uh like campsites that have once been camps mm -hmm. especially one with, that has a heart has had as ha, has had a horse mm -hmm. uh, and it's roughly 10 days old i think that's the best bet we have to look for okay. uh, and then especially things that are like looking for fights or like conflicts or rough movement mm -hmm. I think that's all the info we have right now yeah um, on which side of the road are you looking Probably right side, right? Probably, right? Yeah. Because they would uh, travel on the right side. side. Maybe, maybe not. Alright. I think we start with right side then. If we don't find anything, we'll move on okay. to left side. Okay. So you, like, arrive at a the forest is like very well shaped so the edge of the forest is easy to understand um unlike in like more naturally formed forests where the trees just start getting lighter and then maybe this is like edge of the forest so it's not the edge of the forest with low bay forest um once you enter you know that you're inside of the forest because the trees are quite dense from the start. Um, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Which might make this a bit easier because you have like 
a clearer definition of where the edge of the forest is. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um, well, Rufin, you're the only person who can see anything because it's dark, right? Yeah. So yeah. give me... Uh, how many hours do you want to spend? I think Aruven's ready to uh, spend as many hours as he needs to look for, uh, essentially from the start of the edge of the forest until mm -hmm. like it'd be normal for a family with kids and a horse to move away from the road on both sides. If uh, it, regardless of how many hours that takes. Okay. Uh, so you are on the right side and you're heading um, from the edge right. of the forest backwards into the forest or out of the forest? Ooh. Uh, do you think they have camped next to a tree or do you think they have camped in the open field? Probably next to trees. And okay. seeing how, how there's camps before have gone uh, we've traveled here before right we've traveled mm -hmm. this exact like both times have we seen uh more people travel or like a camp at the edge here or at the edge here uh you traveled once yeah. from port Reem to low bay and camped at the edge of the forest the first time mm -hmm. you traveled here uh, and you camped uh inside of the forest did do i I remember or I ask both of my party members as well about seeing others in this type of road. What's what's usual? What's considered usual traveling? Uh, I shrug. I don't really. I haven't come here much. Like a handful of times ever. None. I don't think I've, maybe like once or twice from that route ever. So I don't really know it's normal. Uh, for most uh, adults that are able-bodied, uh, they travel with the caravan and do the travel in one day so they don't camp yeah i like i'll really that's uh -huh. reason like i don't know most people just do it in one day gotcha. i think we start out uh, my idea would be to start out at the edge the between the plains and the edge here mm -hmm. because he specifically mentioned the edge of the forest maybe like a, a bit of the very corner but mm -hmm. most of it would be here then the other side, and then we'd look at this side and this side. So they essentially okay. do four strips of looking. All right. Then let's go from the top. So the first is sure. edge top right. Give me a perception check. Yep. Uh, perception. Okay. 23. All right. Um, you clearly find a campsite there all right the site of a camp that has been two days old that's like some uh, somebody has had made a fire pit and looking at the fire pit it's clear that this camp is pretty recent okay we uh, probably ignore it then mm-hmm uh, mm, nothing else in there. That's okay. Like you, you see the the camp is like a few days old, and you ignore the rest. I assume. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then it's uh, edge to the left, right? Yep. Perception yes. check. 23. 23. Uh, you don't find anything there. Okay. Yeah. Then this uh, right mm -hmm. uh, road edge, still perception? Mm -hmm. 22. Um, here it gets interesting. Um, you spot a few places where a camp could have been. Okay. Um, they all seem to be a bit older. Um, you vaguely memo uh, vaguely have the memory of having had your camp there as well, one time. Mm -hmm. 
I think all we can do now is he marks or like remembers all the spots and then just one by one all the old uh, like relatively aged spots just goes through them. Mm -hmm. uh, because there's some pretty defining marks of this camp. There'd be two children, one adult, one horse. Mm -hmm. Which should be pretty good indication. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, see yeah. what the full roll would be. One, two, three, four, five, minus 15. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> minus 13. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, so your total roll would be wisdom minus 13. That's no good. You can try. Uh, plus one from cat. I, I counted everything, yeah. Okay, uh, we need a nat 20, boys. We need, there's a five yeah, you chance. This. You got this. I'm just rolling a d20. We need in that way. Oh, uh, close. Ooh. Close. Is there something? Yeah. Anyone who can give you a bonus? Uh, if I had time, maybe. If we had been in the middle of the night. I'm trying to think. Uh, I'll look through stuff really quick. Uh... Who's smart to go first? I'm thinking. I'm also to... thinking. Mm. A lifestone wouldn't help, right? Nope. Uh, spyglass wouldn't help I at all. Do, if those two, if two, those two help me, mm -hmm. does that do anything? Oh, they have no idea like, what they're doing. I guess. They would probably mess up everything. True. Mm. So it's up to you guys if you want to even try to help me. I think Ruben's not particularly. I'll be like, about it. I'll be like looking around and shit with like a light stone out, probably just because like I assume Ruben's like you know Ruben's just off on his own like in, in like the general area like you know looking at stuff and I'll be like he's like probably know I can't help so I'll, I'll look around for shit, see if I see anything obvious that you know just Ruben missed. That's about it. I can't think of anything else because like I don't really know what to, I don't know how to do this shit. It's Ruben's job. Yeah, I don't think I have anything. Yeah. There's nothing that tonight I can do. It seems like, uh, sadly, it does not go our way. Is there any, anything else that you can think about that you could do? I could look around. I, I would like to look around the camps a little bit to see if there's any, like, uh, anything like left behind. Hmm. What are you looking for specifically? Um. There are clearly things left behind, but... Well, I feel like I'm pretty much interested in everything. Maybe I'm not understanding what kind of things are left behind. Oh. Uh... But like, any piece of cloth... No, like... Fire bed pits... Rolls? Are uh... bedrolls left behind? No, no. Nothing like big fire pits, you see like some uh, a group of uh, ants uh, trying to dissect a piece of an apple things like this okay mm. I'm gonna be looking with my death sight to see if I see anything that's you know I've never actually looked at like sites before so I don't know if that has anything to do but I'll, I'll mm. try it 
lights down. Even if you look out of the ordinary. No. Okay. Aldo, give me a wisdom check. Wisdom. Oh, wait, let me... uh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Two. Eighteen. Hmm. Osmar is feeling very guilty for failing locate object twice. <laughs> uh. Uh, Doc, but at least we don't find all the camps they find are like normal uh, abandoned camps. None of them have like that have left very clearly. Ooh, have, like, left. Wait, give me give me one second. Oh, that's a good sign, or a really bad sign. Oh, it's a good sign. Okay. But actually, your eighteen is good enough. Oh shit! I forgot something. Oh shit! So, we're more people than four in the camp. Oh okay. Uh, actually, you find tracks, Ruben. Oh okay. Based King Yasle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I gotta love those. Those I gotta love those. Uh, super mechanized tracking tracks. <laughs> uh, there's a. Uh, the one camp you're looking at, um, you clearly find tracks uh, of multiple people, and they all, uh, the tracks you find, like, they come from different directions, then converge at this campsite, and then, uh, no, you don't get the direction they come from and the direction they leave from. So there is um, four sets of tracks, uh, four groups of tracks around this campsite. Uh, three smaller ones and one large one. Uh, the smaller ones uh, coming from the south and the southeast. And the large one is heading westwards. When you say large, do you mean like a lot of a lot of people, or like a large creature? Uh, or is it hard to tell? A, a larger, the, the track is larger, so uh, there's more people that went oh, in yeah. this direction or came from this direction. Okay. Yeah, I get you would have to identify the tracks to know what's going on. Gotcha. Uh, so there's three small and one big. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, let me just, you have like this, this is the camp spot and then the tracks are like, like this, around the camp. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I will uh, attempt to identify one by one. So starting with big, then the three smalls, hmm. or I, maybe they're the same role, I'm not sure. It's the same role, yeah. Okay. Uh, first roll a d20. Is it the uh, same it's, check? Um, it's it's the same check. So you have you have to roll at least 18 for any of these. Okay. Uh, Three, so it's just one roll. It'll, or. Uh, are, are you Can trying you to? Any of the, any of the, yeah, I, I guess uh, only one row, like identify where the large track is going. Yeah. Hmm. No. Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, maybe the, the large group came from the west and then split up here, or the large group headed to the west and camped here. Uh, um, Ruben tells us a party, uh, but will probably say that I'd assume uh, they will, the big group is the one going away. Uh, and second mm -hmm. DM, what was the direction of the big group going? Was it on the road or was it? Uh, off the road. 
Okay. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense to me. Like, that's why that makes sense why they haven't been caught. We haven't seen them yet. They're off the road. Mm -hmm. uh, last are... uh, we're going to ask if we are good, if we want to go after this thing. Ah. Uh... Can you follow these tracks? I can try. Uh, as long as you do not get disturbed, you can follow them, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go then. We're having the best of our shape, but you know, don't, it didn't really have a, didn't really choose this fight. Mm. Not very prepared for combat right now. Uh, but we have to do this fast, and I don't have much of a choice in the matter. What do you have prepared? Um... How how can we make sure that you can you know fight? I mean, I can fight a little bit, but no big fancy spells. Mm. Uh, if they're if they're humanoid, then I should be fine. I mean, I assume they are. I'm like looking between you two, like a human foot, a human footprint, right? Maybe. Well, uh, Ruben shakes his head. I'm unsure, but um, maybe but we can. Instead, just find track, find camp, and then we don't have to fight. We can wait one day. Yeah, we'll find it is the first thing, though. Okay. okay. I was wondering if the, is it is like already a week old, or more than that, even. Maybe it's better to just go and rest and then come prepared and then follow the tracks tomorrow. Uh, you feel confident the problem... that you can re identify uh... the tracks. Well, the issue is, is that if we go back to Little Bay now, it's going to be kind of a, you know, we're going to be a little bit thick because some people might not see borrowing as borrowing. You may see it as stealing. So that might, you know, we have to, you know, have to spend a couple days arguing with the guards. Yeah, okay. Sure. That should, just just a, just an or if we're gonna have to camp out in the woods because I don't think I think going back to Little Bay is gonna is we're gonna have to be we're gonna be there at least a week before we be able to leave. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like the borrowing part is kind of less bad if we return the things. Uh, yeah. Or Some people it? don't see it that way though. Yeah, I suppose. Well, it'd be a lot sure. easier if we came back with you know missing people. I nod my head. Yeah, we're gonna, if, if you're prepared, we can go. Yeah, I'm prepared okay. as long as they're humanoid. I can, you know, you know, like do those, do the thing I did to those uh, kobolds before. They make them like all stiff, stiff as a board. Can't move. I nod. All right. If you try I to follow the, follow the tracks. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Um, the tracks are heading west from here, um, relatively straight. Um, you can follow them for, uh, yeah, your, your, your travel speed while tracking actively is reduced, right? So, um, uh, your tracking speed is one fourth. We are on horses. Yeah. That increases a little. I guess you probably yeah, got a can't track on horse. Yeah. Also, yeah. movement speed is three. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll switch back to my uh, leather armor. So, I'm twelve movement divided by four. It's great. Mm -hmm. And these tracks are like really old. You're lucky that you were even able to pick up on them. Mm -hmm. But you found them and you can follow them until you get disturbed or have to break tracking for some reason. Um, so it's going really slow. Uh, but for the first few miles uh, until the sun goes up on the tracks more or less skirt around the edge of the forest and then head into the open.
I relate this to the party, but Ruben seems ready to go to chase after them right now. Uh, as much as I'd like sleep, doesn't feel like we're probably best to follow this right now. I agree. All right. Um, the sun is out. Everybody can see again. Lucky yeah, you. Probably blind. Probably blinding because you're just you're not really used to just sort of like you know it's not really blind to be you know, sort of like you know didn't really it's weird to see the full night and then day again. I mean, it's getting slowly lighter, so it's fine. Um, and you can continue tracking these tracks uh, westwards. Uh, Till you get like to the middle of the day, um, which is another three miles. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta travel so slow. Hmm. Uh, the direction doesn't seem to change much. I mean, it's it's slightly swerving as tracks tend to be. Nobody's like walking straight in a in a straight line. Uh, at least nothing that you have tracked before, Reuven. Uh, mm -hmm. But overall, the direction seems to be very stable. So I think uh, this could allow me to, uh, like, lightly increase the pace but take a chance that they take a big risk and move or would that work uh, or I just uh, what do you think that you are tracking humans a group of humans a yes. group of humans usually moves movement speed 12 right yeah yeah assuming they're out now that they're mounted it's Twenty-four, yeah. thirty-six. Yeah, so, yeah, normal is twelve. Yeah, maybe nine if they're traveling slowly. So, with the the speed that you're tracking them with, uh, you are quite confident that sooner or later, uh, you will be so far behind the tracks that uh, you won't be able to tell them anymore. Mm -hmm. This is already right at the edge of being able to see them. Okay. And if you have to track this uh, for the next 24 hours, then there's probably no chance that you can continue following them. At some point, you will lose it. These tracks are too old. Too old. Wait, are we tracking where they came from or where they went from went after the incident? They went. Okay. You, you, you guess, yeah. 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 yeah, so this is, yeah. Um, I think what I'd maybe try to do then is we hop on horses and we start just full on throttle going. And just um, occasionally, every like mile or so, Ruben will take a look to see if we can pick up the tracks. Yeah, I think it's safe to say if they uh, were following the tree line and then they parted to go straight, I, I think it's fair to say that they probably went straight for some time. Yeah, I'm sort of like sort yeah. of like thinking, probably thinking out loud, Ruben, like, huh, we're going to the area where the we found that uh, big flying thing we saw over the mount, the mount hills and uh, the the big goblins. No, 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 they were the bug, they were the bug people, bug men, or, or but it's like midday now, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. just, yeah. I'm honestly not sure how long I can go without sleep. As you're yeah. looking in the distance, you see the bit of its hills on the west. In mm -hmm. the west. Uh, yeah, I, I I understand. It's smart. Uh... Hmm. Not sure what to do. 
I, mean, it's I think sort of in a bad true. situation where if we stop and rest, we're probably going to lose the tracks. I I feel like we can just do a little bit of regression here and uh, approximate their uh, destination. I think it's safe to say if they left the forest, they'd be traveling in a straight line. So why would they otherwise break from the forest to start heading in an odd direction? So I think I, I think know. it's I think it's weird. So I don't know. I think it's already safe to say that they're moving in this one direction after. Uh, I'm just gonna ask you one question: Are you willing to risk the lives of your your friends' kids on that? I think the probability increase of my friend's kids dying because of resting a day is minuscule, minuscule, but I think I, I doubt that we would find them during one day. And if we go more than one day without rest, we risk our own lives to a great extent, I think. Uh, Julius, I think here I, I agree with Usman. I think you, we can rest. Maybe we can rest here and then because I think I agree with Usma, they will probably go straight west. The first thing they will meet is the road and then uh, the, the mountains. Oh, very Hopefully well. There, there will be fresher tracks. Uh, if we lose the tracks, it is your guys' fault then. Ruben nods solemnly. Yes. Not very well done. Seems like we shall rest then. Alright. So you rest in the middle of the day? Yeah, probably, yeah, probably the horses need rest too, probably, I imagine. Yeah. yeah so our you... schedule is very weird. <laughs> you put up your tent uh, <laughs> and go to sleep. All of you go to sleep. Yeah, we're probably that... exhausted, I imagine. Assuming that nothing wants to eat you during the day, anyways. Yeah, the horses will probably make some noise, I imagine. But yeah, we'll probably don't be caught by surprise if anything comes out. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I can't. I'm, yeah, I'm, at least I'm resting. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, like we're all exhausted. I imagine. All right. Uh, so no watch. No, but uh, at least I'm not watching. I think we're sleeping, slapping, with the horses outside so that they hopefully make noise. All right. Uh. No risk, no fun, right? Uh huh. Uh, you all. Snuggle up inside of a tent and sleep. Whoa. And an undetermined amount of time later, you wake back up. Who's the first one to wake up? Uh, I'm assuming me because I'm not that tired. Do a check. Oh. Uh, I'm just assuming right. based on stats. If Reuven wants to wake up first, then he can wake up first, yeah. I'm also very much letting either of you go as well. I'm much... Oh, yeah, I'm fine with whatever. I yeah, I think Reuven probably makes more sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Reuven, you wake up first. Uh, go outside. There's the three horses sitting in the grass. Snacking a bit. Uh, it's dark outside. Do I feel like I've slept fully? Yeah. You're rested. Okay. Ruben lets the other two sleep for a while as he prepares for us to sit off. Maybe ready uh, portable breakfast, and then we'll wake them once breakfast is ready. He's a horrible cook. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I have rations on me. 
Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, that's what I mean. He's like a ready to rations. Somebody. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you just give us rations, like, here you go. Uh, Reuven. Give me an in check. Eighteen. <laughs> All right. We're really loving our eighteen so far today. Yeah. The last couple of rolls. It's fine. All right. You can wake up the other two. Yeah. And continue on your way. I have to prepare spells. Yeah, I I prefer one spell. I said twenty minutes. Probably like while they're eating breakfast. Or like yeah, well yeah, we'll do it the same time as these more. I'll I'll just post spells just in case we get into a fight sometime soon. Mm, I think thirty minutes of preparing might be I'm doing twenty minutes if you're doing it, so if not then I'm not memorizing spells. Yeah, I'm doing thirty minutes at least. I wonder yeah, if it's... I only have to do 20 at most. That's going up one spell. I, have to, I only have one level two spell I need to memorize. Yeah, I, get, I could memorize more, but I think this should be enough for any combat. Uh, so I think I'm just going to do 30 minutes for this list. The only, only spell I prepared was Fireball. Fireball, fireball, fireball. You can bring us kids home nice and, you know, you know baked. <laughs> Toasty. Sure you won't mind that. You didn't say you wanted him back alive. Yeah. Gotta specify that shit. I mean, he's a bounty officer, right? Everything's dead or alive for him, so. <laughs> Even his own family. All right. Uh, you prepare to ride through the night, I guess. Yeah, sort of like you know, sort of like you know, like I sort of ask you, like, I can did you find the tracks? The tracks are visible. Uh, Rufin, roll me a d twenty and roll a twenty. Oh right. Eh. Negative, boss. But but yeah, I think the plan was we all hop on horses and we just go straight, straight west. Does Ruben not answer my question? If you found the tracks again, I uh, Ruben does. Sorry, I I had I had oh, I had oh, to communicate with someone else. Oh yeah, no no worries. I just I was just if you, I was just wondering if you it would have been, I was just wondering if you were or not. Ruben shakes his head at you. I nod. Mm. All right. Straight west it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you have direction sense. You can see the stars in the sky. So easy. And you can ride for the next uh, nine hours until the sun comes up. Which means you will arrive at the edge of the foothills before the sun reappears in the sky. We fucked our sleep schedule so hard. <laughs> uh, you, I, I mean, you, you cross the road before the sun comes up, like as you okay. are riding I west. I want to stop at the road. Yeah. And then start checking for tracks on the road. I feel like um, the road's gonna have way too many tracks. Yeah, it's no. gonna have like a fucked up track to like just people, just random people walking up and down. I, oh. Yeah, I, but I guess what I'm looking for is like the intersection of the, the, where we just came from and the road. Hmm. So sort of like, so, so looking, I assume you're looking for tracks going off the road to the west. Uh, uh, yes, uh, or, or you know, like uh, tracks coming into the road. From where we came. Oh, yeah, I get what you mean now. Yeah. Mm. That's a good idea. Uh, it's um, kind of a long shot, but. It's like a really, really long shot. It's yeah. the best we have right now. This would be like three net 20s in a row to find anything. Like, 
find a reason to think that something is a trek and then basically pure luck that we find yeah this would be pure luck to get this um yeah. well uh, no essentially what i'm looking for is uh on the side of the road on the eastern side of this road so mm. not on the road itself but where there are lots of tracks but on the eastern side of this road mm -hmm. uh, like a strip of like a general area of where they could have came from if they followed the similar uh tr a road or a similar direction as we assumed they would uh -huh. they would appear somewhere here so i want to see if i pick up any tracks to the side of this road yeah just this is still like be... yeah a two mile uh strip that you would have to check for anything that might be tracks and then uh... that is true yes and it would be much more difficult than looking in a camp that is yeah yeah i didn't think, not think of that uh I think we just go. We assume they didn't go for the road itself, right? Maybe they went maybe the they road. went to North Mine. This would be the closest town from here. Yes. Was there something about bandits caring about the mines at some point? Mm. I think they don't dare to attack them. I think gen I think that was the thing that they generally don't. But then there was some change. Was there not? There was something, but what was it? Because first I went to Laksana, that was like, a, well, I guess the first big thing was the caravan, but then there was a Laksana raid. Mm -hmm. And I think they wanted to go to like some of the mines for like resources or something. Well, you weren't in the conversation where this was talked about. Wait, I wasn't? Nope. Oh. That conversation was with Reuben and Helena. Oh, okay. Wait, the conversation I, I had with Helena last session? Mm-hmm. God damn, I'm, I must be tired out of the, the very ounces of my mind. So I don't recall talking about not mine at all. It's probably because I'm sick and tired. But, <laughs> um, wait, let me think. He's opening up the VOD right now. <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me three and a half hours. I'll, I'll find the answer. I'm checking my notes. I don't think I wrote anything about this, but still. Yeah, I don't write down what if I'm not in the in the scene, other people's stuff, ever. So I have no notes on it. Well, well, I wasn't given the same story in Tarrega when I asked the Bunny Office. Um. You got the. Oh yeah, yeah. Technically, you never heard the story from Ruven, I think. So you would have been interested in the full story, right? Yeah. Or did you not care about what happened before the animals got stolen? Sorry. And uh, you heard about animals getting stolen, right? Last session. <laughs> Oh, I feel like yeah. I'm pretty sure we, talk, remember we talked about. I know we talked about that because we all were like. Yeah, I remember. We I was like. I remember at least. I remember at least me and Usmar like ha ha to Ruben. We were right. I remember that. Mm -hmm. We had that conversation. But I know we talked about that at least. Yeah, but that was before uh, Usmar was in Terega. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that was before he left. So the question is, what would have Osma heard in Tarrega? Or what would yeah. he have asked? Uh, I, would have asked I, don't, I don't think I would have asked for more than uh, current bandit news. But maybe that conversation leads somewhere. Let's see. How long ago was that? One, two, 
was last week? Hmm. So it was within a month of you asking the question. And, and I am known the, as the Bandit Slayer. You're known as, as a Bandit Slayer, and it is the most current information about Bandit movement, which was five weeks ago. By, by now, it's five weeks ago. When you asked, it was four, four weeks ago. Hmm. There was a, a larger group of bandits spotted heading west into the hills uh, and the Camp Widowitz Hills somewhere around North Mine. Hey man. That's where they were I... spotted heading into the hills. Nobody knows where they are now, but Right. I relay this information to the party. Uh and say that we should probably make it to North Mine and then start our search over there. Uh, let's not. Uh, they could be in North Mine already. I don't think the bandits. Uh, bandits have been doing a lot of things they haven't been doing normally. Yeah, I guess. I, even though I'm not very good at this type of terrain, I think I can at least, we can give it a try. Maybe, uh, because right now we only know of this like few mile wide area that they could be in. Mm. So maybe we can check to make sure if there's any like very good uh, ravine or or uh, slit in the mountain to see the good road. I I point towards north when uh, make note of the uh, scouting towers that they have and say, I mean, I assume that they would have seen maybe something at some point. Maybe they could give us like a general direction, at least. That is true. Okay. Uh, I will leave a marker here. Uh, maybe it will be helpful, but you know. So I'll like uh, use some of our equipment to leave like a flag on the ground here. Is that doable? Yeah, sure. Well, let's go. To, let's go on to the North Mine then. See, maybe they have some news there. Okay. Do you have a ride to North Mine? Yeah, you can follow the road a bit south and then follow the smaller road up to North Mine and arrive there early in the morning. <laughs> right on time. Right on time. Uh, North Mine is very well secured. Uh, you've heard this before, but the mining towns North Mine and South Mine, um, they are in these hills. These hills are known for wacky creatures, right? So, yeah, I mean, we've uh, seen some wacky creatures just like while we're traveling around here. Yeah, there's giants in these hills, there's bugbears. You've seen the griffin. Uh, not so far away from here, you ran into trolls. So, these towns are well secured. They have, um, they have walls. They have watchtowers, and uh, they have a lot of guards. Uh, there's, uh, in addition to the normal uh, military security guild guards, there's a lot of guards from the uh, mining and masons guild. Are there okay. dwarves? There are dwarves in North Mine. Yes. Uh, are there gnomes? There are other gnomes in North Mine. It's the perfect mine. You are in the main towns in Camp Widowitz County, and all the creatures you would expect in the mines are in the mines. Hey, Amen. <laughs> I go try to. Never mind. Maybe at some point. Yeah. You ride up to the gates, uh, they open the gates and let you inside. Uh, sun is up. You seem like ordinary travelers. They're borrowed horses. With horses, nobody knows who they belong to. Nobody has asked. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you can ride into town. Uh, 
this is in a very very more industrial than the other to towns uh, they don't have like farmsteads around it's very centralized um, there's huge buildings where people live most of the workers from the mines um, yeah town looks different than the other towns I guess I'll try to ask like a guard for directions to uh, like the sheriff's office yeah um, he shows you the direction it's uh, in the center of town where you would expect it to be all right thanks let me head uh, you get to the center of the town. There's like a market square. Um, it's a different market square. There's like no uh, livestock being offered and things like this. Um, there is more like stores where you can buy things. Um, uh, as we're traveling, Ruben says, um, now that we are in uh, human clan, or I guess dwarf clan. Uh, do we send these uh, horses back? Uh, I think that'll be best done once we return ourselves. Yeah, I, I agree with Usmar. I think it's best if we uh, we don't want these horses to get lost on the way back. I mean, haven't we hired people to? Usman, didn't we hire people to bring our donkeys one time? Uh, that's a very different scenario. Donkeys are um, a much... I'm trying to think of the word that wouldn't offend Ruben. Usman <laughs> wants to say cheaper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh... Humans, uh, are, or, humans, or are oh, sorry. humans are generally more offended by uh lost horses um so if one decided to become a wild horse once again that would be troublesome whereas for the donkeys it wouldn't be that big of a problem yeah and horses and, uh, yeah, donkeys are a lot more docile horses get like really don't like don't like meeting new people a lot of times uh, and the trip from uh was it east hillside east to Terega was a lot shorter than from North Mai to Low Bay. Okay. All right. He's good. I nod and I try to find the sheriff. Yeah. Oh, that's clearly a military guild office. Uh, you can knock and enter and talk with the sheriff. Uh, hi, Mr. Sheriff. Um, Hello. It has been brought to my attention that there has been sighted, that bandit movements have been sighted near this town of yours. No, uh, bandits are always sighted somewhere. Uh, yeah, always somewhere, but very rarely in the hills. Um, yet, now it has come to that. Um, I'd be curious on any information of bandit movements nearby. Nobody has sighted them in the hills. Apparently they have been sighted entering the hills, but since then nobody has seen them. Uh, do you know how much north or south the entering the hills has happened? Must have been a few miles up the road, I guess. All right. Uh, I look towards my party. If they have anything to ask. Hmm. Uh, no, oh, sorry. Do you know any places bandits could go? I mean, these hills are large as bunch of uh, caverns and things like this nature. Mm. 
The weirdest wow. thing that I have spotted lately is that the griffin is missing. Hmm. My electro driven? Hmm. Uh, so what, you're, so what, you're, what you're all saying is there's a lot of places they could be hiding. Yes. Is there a magic shop in your town? No. If we need something, we have to send a request to Camp Widowitz. What's our bike system? Uh, I think we're on our own, Ismar. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're lucky, maybe the general store still has some stuff. Um, sometimes they keep some resources. I doubt it. But if you need anything weird, it's probably not here. Mm. Well, I thank you for the information. Uh I have a question. Is there people here that are good at tracking through mountains? Knowing this area? Uh, Some might call them mountaineers. You can ask our, our local ranger. Okay. Where could we find this person? Two officers down the road. If she's uh, here at the moment, I don't know. I don't keep track. She's a person who knows the most about the hills, I guess. It's her job to keep the critters out. It's not like anything gets in here, but the less creatures are trying to bang against our walls, the better. Well, it sounds like she does an excellent job. Yeah. Well, it seems like we need to go and pay her a visit then. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Thank you, good sheriff. Have a nice day and enjoy your stay in this beautiful hall. There's quite a nice hall. Obviously. It's the best one. Uh, Wait, was it? Is this sheriff a dwarf or a gnome or a human? Ah, oh, it's a human. Okay. Uh, let's go find this ranger mountaineer lady. See if she's in town. Hmm. I nod. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll follow the sheriff directions. Yeah, you head down the road. Two officers. I'll knock at the door. I'll knock. Um, knock, knock, knock. There's no answer. I'll, I'll knock louder. There's a louder not answer. I'm gonna, is it a one-story or two-story building? Or multi -story? One story. Okay, so I'm gonna like, look through the windows. You see nothing inside. Is it like, is it like, is it, I see nothing, is it dark or I see nothing, or I don't see anybody inside? Oh, you don't see anybody inside. Can I get like a full view of the building, or is it like only like a only like the the one room? Um, it's just the office of the building. Okay, I'm gonna go and like you know, I'm like, <sighs> I'm gonna go and like around the windows and sort of like tap on them to see if I can like get someone's attention. If someone's like on the other side, or like a door that I don't see, that yeah. I can't see into. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try to annoy whoever lives here to get a reaction, but nothing happens. <sighs> okay. Uh, do we want to find out if she's here just to sleep, or do we want to see if she's around town? I think if she were asleep, all that noise you do would have woken her. I don't know what these mountaineer types are, though. Well, at least I know rangers would be. Yeah, but you're a forest ranger. These are mountaineering rangers. I, I imagine they're different. Maybe. Never you ever met a mountaineer before? No. Huh? Well, hmm. 
can try and you know see if one of the door if one of the front door or one of the windows is you know coincidentally left unlocked then i happen to walk inside i guess i don't even check the door is the door unlocked no the door's locked okay hmm uh, i'll go check the windows um can't open them i can't open them they're like no, can't not openable yeah okay like hmm uh, the problem is, is that uh, I thought we were sh like short on time. Don't have the time to be waiting around for days to see if she's here or not. All I can think of right now is we go to an area where we came from, or where they hit the road, the the other we are a big party uh, that we tracked and then uh, start looking for entrances into the... That's a lot of area we're gonna have to just search though, randomly. There's, um... This Nothing. Take a bit longer. But there's a spell that might be very useful here, but I would have to, um... I'd have to learn it first. Well, before all that, uh... I'm gonna like look around to see if, like how many people are like what like are like in this like uh like this road. Very few. Very few. I'm like okay. Uh, if you guys can stand there, I'm gonna you know see if the door's unlocked in a minute. Again. What? Why do we want to go in her house? I'm gonna see if she's in there and then see if I can wake her up. And if not, then we can leave. Okay. More so than like uh. I thought we wanted to find these people fast, and you know, it's feel like you know, if if she's here, then I feel like it would speed up the process a lot more. Uh, you against that Usmar? Uh, also, I was just kind of going with it. Okay. Oh fuck! I fail. I think I think I think it's a fail. I'm like I'm like I'm like trying to pick, and I'm like, oh fuck! These dwarven locks are different. Uh, oh well, let's uh, nah. I, I probably spent like, you know, one to like a couple of minutes trying to like, you know, get it and realize that I just can't like, I fuck it up. Yep. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I still think she's our best bet. Uh, uh, I guess we can, I guess, do you, uh, I guess, Usmar, do you have the ability to learn that spell or we have to go, you have to buy it from somebody? I would have to go buy it from somebody, and it's quite the rare spell. I know that Reynard has it, but I, I'd be lucky if I would able to if I were able to find it from Port Bream. Yeah, so I know it takes you a while to learn spells, right? that would be at least like a week to a week and a half for you to get the spell. And if you like, no, it, if you like... I don't think it would take me that long. And how long would it take you? Think. Uh, well, I'm just thinking of you traveling to Port Bream and back and learning the spell. A day to Port Bream, a maximum four days for the spell, and then a day back. So six yeah. days, a week. Yeah, I don't, I mean, that's like, what, it's about half of the, uh, about the time they've been missing for. I agree, it's not uh, the best It's not like the last resort, I think, it's for like we can do it, but for now, I think we should look for other options. I agree, if there's a fast option, we should take that. Yeah. Do you have other magics that will help? Um, not really. You have the magic to make someone fly. I could, yeah, we could. Uh... Yeah. That's true. I could uh, scout around tomorrow. I, could just fly. Uh, I don't know if it's the best idea, considering they're at least they said the griffins are missing, but I don't know if that they're going to be missing when you go flying. My intention was not to be visible whilst flying in the skies. Yeah, that works then. There is a gasp from room when as you go, oh, I have idea. What if a reason why Griffon is missing is because these bandits took over Griffon cave. And oh, that maybe. would be crazy. Isn't there usually like a lot of Griffins in the cave? No. I thought there was a lot of them normally. Might be thinking of something else. Oh well. Might be thinking of just like eagles or birds or something. I thought I just imagined they did the same. Uh, in in other in uh, South Mountain, 
Where we go, there was only two nests. Each nest had one. Which one? Yeah, still, I imagine it'd be hard to find it. Because if they were easy to find, I imagine the ranger here would have gotten rid of it a while ago. But I feel like all these—I feel like again—I feel like all these questions can help. All these uh, questions can help be answered by the ranger here. Yep, if we find the ranger, that's the best case. So, uh, well, we can always go make a fuss and see if we can find the ranger. Yep, I think that's a good idea. Let's ask around. Yep. Alrighty. Um, is everybody still feeling fresh, or do we want to end here? I think it's getting kind of late. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Ending here. I'm getting quite tired. All right. Then I would say we will end it here and we will find out where the ranger is next time. Uh, the ranger is sleeping indoors and we just didn't, we didn't, we weren't knocking loud enough. That's the answer. Potentially, yeah. <laughs> uh, God, I really, I, I wanted to get in, I, I wanted to get inside and see if it was in there. Or if not, I could just leave him, leave a note. <laughs> oh well. What? I don't know how someone would take to a note that was. Left. Oh no, no I, I don't think it would be well. It's just I think it's like the fastest solution, <laughs> or one of the fastest solutions. I definitely yeah. agree. It's not good. It's just like you know, we we're on our kind of timer. Yeah, if they're willing to cooperate after that. But yeah, maybe. for sure. If you were on a timer, it'd be a much different experience. You could also, if you want to, you could write a note and just uh, like slide it into the door. Yeah. yeah, that's true as well. I mean, also, I really want to get inside. I could have broken the window, but I feel like that would have been a lot more annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like throw a rock, they're like get, get like one of our get one of our shields and just break the window and crawl in. Uh, strange things happen. True. Our entire plan has gone haywire. Imagine breaking into someone's house just to leave a note for them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty wacky. Yeah. We just wanted to let you know that we are looking for you. <laughs> uh, oh, well. All right. All right. Then get well soon. Yeah. Thank you. And get your character your feeling better. Have a nice rest of the weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you all, you all too. Yep. GG's, boys. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Night. Thank you yeah. for the game, Duck. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is. Bye bye.